Hello, everyone. We are here on Forza Motorsport. Hopefully, it's all going to behave itself. We are doing the featured multiplayer races uh, today. We've got a group together. We don't really know how it's going to work. We don't. We're not really sure of anything of how it's all going to behave itself. But we've got a group together. We're going to kind of take over a few featured multiplayer lobbies. If you manage to luckily jump into one with us, then awesome. Uh, we're going to see how this is all going to pan out. So we're starting off with the GT cars. I've got to get going quickly because the race starts in four minutes and I haven't done qualifying yet. Uh, I'm driving my favourite. Uh, I've got my Audi. Uh, I say it's my favourite. It's generally quite quick uh, is why I've got this one. Um, it, I generally get more laps to be out of this than some of the other GT cars. It doesn't actually quite handle how I want a GT car to handle in some ways. A bit too over bit too oversteery for me, but uh, it generally does the job of being very, very fast. Uh, but we're going to see how this all pans out, uh, and hopefully we can have a good race. Because, of course, the reason why we're doing the feature multiplayer rather than doing our own races is these have got much accelerated tyre wear. It makes the races very interesting. Now, GT races have been well, changed, actually, since I last did multiplayer. So these are... Um, shortened races so we have only got I think five lap races are going to so it's so unlikely to be strategy there's no pit stops involved with this unless things have gone terribly wrong um, the real question is going to be what tyres do you run on? do you run on soft and be faster but probably have them very slick have them struggling by the end of the race do you run on medium tyres and be that little bit slower over, you know, ultimate lap pace may be a little bit slower. However, chances are uh, you're going to make it to the end without losing any time. I'm kind of using this, I mean, I've, I've not really got a huge amount of time to figure out what's up. Oh, no. That got unhappy. I ran a little bit wide. My car had, uh, <laughs> had a very big, very big wobble there. Christ. That's not what we needed. I'm going to get one more lap in. Uh, we are not going to get a third lap here for qualifying. So we are going to have to go for it. Yeah, we're on 14th on the grid. Uh, not great. It was, it was a always going to be a little bit more of a more of a cautious lap because uh, I wasn't going full for it. And yeah, we had a massive, massive wobble. It's not going to help. Uh, oh. Oh, I'm driving scruffily. Did not have a. Uh, this, this is the warm up race. I'm going to make that excuse for when I do poorly. Uh, <laughs> a lot of, we're going to be a lot of warm up races this evening. Uh, yeah, I'm not necessarily uh, expecting to do amazingly. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We shall see how it all kind of pans out. That's a weird visual glitch going on there, but never mind. Let's not ask too many questions. I uh, have not driven. I've uh, driven the R8 around here. Uh, as I said, these the oil races got like changed, updated, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. Since I've last done these, so they're all different tracks with these cars. Uh, you have much shorter races here. Uh, we were okay. Tires, I don't think. I don't think you're going to want to run soft tires for this race. I think you're going to want to run medium. By the end of lap two, I've pretty killed them. Yeah, well, not properly killed, but five laps, you, you wouldn't, they wouldn't be completely bald. We have put ourselves into P4, which will do for me. There's no point in me finishing this lap. Um, then we can just park it. Game audio a bit loud. I can tell. Forza is weirdly loud. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Uh, that should be okay. Um, well, Longbow tried to apply a tune and the game glitched out. That's one thing that happens. You gotta love. You got to love Forza misbehaving. I say you've got to love it. Uh, uh, this is Streamlabs for real. A woolala to Streamlabs. It did work. I did hear it come in. It did seem to work. Thank you very much for that. Saying oh, woolala. This this is a test donation. There is no money nor a message attached to this. We here at Streamlabs are just making certain you have an all right time with us and hope to make uh, this crash after another donation. No, don't. No more crashing, please. No more crashing, please. Um, yeah, Streamlabs just had a bit of an off day. Uh, it seems to be working. It seems to be working fine. Uh, so we are into the race. Yeah, I'm not go. I'm personally 
not going to be running the soft tyres. Uh, we have got a Brazen in, in second place. There's a Viper on pole, very similar lap times uh, through there. We have Brazen in second. How much has Failrace taken over the lobby? Nope, we're not done very well. Uh, <laughs> we've got Chris in in third. Then we have Shadow. That's a Failrace driver. Then we have me, who didn't have a particularly good qualifying run, actually, before we go through the grid. Let's just... No, don't go on wets. Christ, go on some mediums. Uh, so, yeah, we have me. We have we have not had a great selection. The Fail Race crew not had a great time in qualifying. Let's go with an NSX. We do have a couple of disconnects. Where did Pega end up? Oh, and Pega's driving... Well, the Pega's driving the Charger. I'm, that's a fair way back. We'll see what that... See what that does. There's a Ewan uh, with the good old Boatley uh, is all the way back there. And the Speed Beast is a little bit further back. We did have some disconnections, unfortunately. Oh, Danger Man did not get it together in qualifying. I would, I'm surprised to see Danger Man so far back. Uh, so, yeah, and Longbow disconnected, which is unfortunate uh, for Longbow. Uh, Petrolhead, thank you very much for the super chat. Say, hey, Alex, a joke for you. Now, how does a cat write a book? Uh, very catfully. You're going to get a boo right there. <laughs> You're going to get a boo from me and from chat. Uh, have you seen the new EV Honda Prelude? Uh, and the NSX will be an EV as well. I mean, it doesn't surprise me that the NSX is going to be. I have seen the new EV Prelude. It looks very, very cool. Um, yeah, awesome looking car. Uh, oh, I think we might have broken it. <laughs> I think it... Oh, no, no, no. I take it back. I thought for a second it was busted because he got stuck at uh, the, the, the one second countdown. But no, we are in two into the race on this one. Um, yeah, Lombo's disconnected. That is unfortunate. Uh, we're going to have a little faffing about trying to get people into the lobby respect, like in between rounds, potentially. We're going to quite, kind of see how it all times out uh, if we can get people in as... If we can get... Uh, so unfortunately, it's going to kind of be filming crew invited, and if you manage to time it right so that you jump into the same race as us, fantastic. Uh, it's going to be the only way we can realistically do it. Wow, there's a lot of Audis up at the front here. Uh, we are off and we are underway. The Viper is going to lead the charge. The Viper is going to try and hold off a lot of Audis. There's a Porsche behind me. And, yeah, we will see how this all pans out. Uh, there is an Audi has gone to the inside and might get past the Viper. I got a little twitch midway through the first corner. Uh, Shadow gave plenty of space down there. Can we... Whoa, not do that. There's a little, on cold tyres, the Audi is a little... I say a little bit lethal. It's not, you know, it's not completely undrivable. You've just got to be aware. The back end of the Audi likes to move around quite a lot. Brazen's going for the dive on the Viper to move up to second. May struggle to hold that on the exit. We're being a little bit lively with the loud pedal. Uh, <laughs> this is why I don't keep my tyres alive. I never do. I'm terrible at tyre conservation. Uh, we do slide the car around. I do I, I, yeah, just don't have the patience. It does end up getting quite leery from me. Uh, well, there was a little bit more caution from Brazen and the cars ahead. I just, I, I went all for it on the run down the corkscrew. Uh, God, we are on the edge of getting ourselves in trouble at the moment. Shadow's got some company back there. That's good. Viper's had a really big dive into the final corner, and it's a good, it's a good attempt. They have slowed each other down quite a lot. That Brazen's going to have a look. Brazen, that's such a narrow gap. It's a good. <laughs> <laughs> Brazen with the best run of everybody is going to get to the inside up there. Uh, may well take second place away from the Viper. Very reminiscent of that Corvette and Porsche crash. Very famous Corvette and Porsche crash that went on there. Uh, that, that is what that little those little antics reminded me of. Everybody got away with it though. Everybody is through in one piece, uh, and we you know, we benefit from this. The more they the more they fight each other. the you know, the easier it is for us to keep up with them. Uh, we may be able to pick up pieces if anything goes wrong. Uh, the BMW is past Shadow back there. Uh, can we can, can we do anything? At the moment, it's just don't make a silly mistake. That is my primary goal here. Just stick with the group. Don't make a silly mistake. Not going to go for a big dive up the inside of the corkscrew. I mean, it's tempting. We are all going to get drawn into this fight. The BMW is catching. Uh, my lively Audi wanted to let go again. Uh, now this is the issue though that we have got, is that we are all being stacked up. The 
beamer's caught because I, you know, I just can't be particularly fast. The BMW dove in the pits. The BMW really start on softs. Maybe? Maybe the BMW went to the side. I don't know why you would. Maybe they did it by accident. I thought when I was flicking through the car, they didn't see anybody on soft, so I'm surprised if someone had gone for that. Um, because, yeah, that, that is a choice. A choice has been done right there by a BMW, a slightly unusual one. I don't think I quite have the pace for the top three. I'm, I will, I say I will happily admit it. Uh, I don't think I have quite got their pace. So I really need them to fight one another. I don't, I say I don't quite have confidence in the car. They may well have. I, I'm just driving this car with a stock setup. There may well be, uh, you know, a tune that helps chill it out a bit. The Viper's having a real look. It's a great race. We've got a wonderful commentator viewpoint. All oh, the Vipers got in trouble there. Uh, the Viper tried to make it stick. Did not quite work. Uh, around around that corner, ended up on the grass, or ended up on the, not really grass is it, it's more sand uh, through all of that. We are just sat with the watching group. If they all take each other out, I'll be laughing. What is that, uh, God, what's the guy's name? The speed skater, the very famous one, the Aussie. That, uh, it was the Aussie, wasn't it? That everybody fell over and won from having been nowhere in the entire race. I mean, we are right in the fight, but we are clearly not quite as fast. But we've got a great run out of the final corner. The Viper's going to go defensive towards turn one, as you should at this point. Um, you, you, oh no, it has not gone as defensive as I thought they were going to go. They kind of moved across a little bit. I say at the last minute, I did see a super chat coming. Thank you very much. I will read at the end. Uh, it is very, uh, very intense racing right here. Uh, has the Viper maybe cooked its tyres a bit? Uh, I don't know. We are alongside. I mean, what on earth are you... We're very much alongside there. I don't quite know what you're... <laughs> it just turned across me. Very lucky they didn't spin themselves out uh, on that one. We were, yeah, very, very far alongside. And I kind of got out of it at the right time so as to not completely get wrecked. But, uh, yeah, not the best piece of driving from the Viper. Uh, I do wonder, I mean, it's lost touch to the group ahead. I do wonder whether maybe they've cooked their tyres a little bit. Uh, we will just try and be neat and tidy down here. Try and not pick up any penalties as well. Uh, Shadow's got some penalties, I'm going to guess, from adventuring wide on, off the circuit somewhere. The leader has gone a little bit wide. See a bunch of dust being kicked up. I mean, we've had a lap of rail uh, after a slightly sketchy start. Yeah, we're not fighting, so we are kind of going quicker than the leaders now. Thought that was a bit of a wonky final corner. Uh, <laughs> We will have one more lap to go. Final lap. If something's going to happen, well, it's going to happen now at the end of the day. Brazen had a look at turn one, but nothing giving through there. Shadow has closed in because we had a bit of a mess at the end of that lap. That Gliska is unwell with the NSX, actually, clawing its way up here. Big gap behind Gliska. Whoa. Uh, which helps us out a lot. I don't know whether... It seems like a bunch of cars have gone into the pits, but I don't quite know why they pit on such a short race. The Viper now got clear of us, has gone chasing back after them. So I'm just not quite as fast as the cars ahead, uh, which is just how it goes sometimes. Uh, we've got a more be... I mean, even if Shadow comes past, Shadow won't actually beat us on the, with the time penalties, or they don't completely scarper up the road. So that's, that's fine. Brazen is trying to do the fight for the Fail Race team. It may, it may go Brazen's way. It looks like they've got a good run off of the corkscrew here. They're around the outside through this. It's such a difficult corner to go around the outside. Oh, the other Audi. Chris has gone very wide. The Viper's in a spot of bother down there as well. It's very, very close. I think Brazen has a little penalty. The other Audi also has a bit of a penalty. Going to be a drag race to the line. Brazen may get it on virtue of the penalties here. We've closed in right at the death. I think Brazen has won it. We will cross the line in fourth. Uh, <laughs> hey, Brazen did get it by... Oh, six thousandths of a second. We got a monstrous lap at the end. At the end of it, we were flying. In fact, to be honest, me, Gliska, Shadow, were all going very quickly. Uh, at the end, we were all up brazen with a couple of tenths. Yeah, we were all very close in terms of lap time. Uh, 
<laughs> uh, Bray's in a couple of tenths faster. Yeah, the Viper, maybe not quite as quick. Uh, and Pega climbed up to seventh in that one. Ewan climbed up to ninth. Good good race for Ewan, actually. Good good finish for the Bentley. Uh, it was it was an interesting race. It was an exciting race, that is for sure. Speedbeast got up to a 13th place. Uh, Danger Man may have had some... Issues on may have just been, no, uh, actually, lap time wise looks half decent in the Aston, so I'm going to guess something may have, may, some misfortune may have fallen. Uh, Danger Man's way. Don't quite get on the podium. Also, love how there are some random cars. Oh, is that the podium finishes the cars wandering across the track? I think it was. Just saw that in the background. Uh, but there we go. Well done, Brazen. Good start. A good start for Team Fail Race. Um,. Yeah, might have been won by slightly because of a penalty, but you were right, you were close enough that, uh, to, to do that on a point, essentially point one of a penalty, because Brazen had point one of a penalty as well, so it was right there. Ah, fantastic. Now, we are, we are going to try and go into this race. I am going to exit this because I'm going to try and get everybody back in. I should have time... Hopefully, if I can do this right, it's a little bit difficult. Um, but hopefully, we can go and we can go and get this working. Um, uh, KZR Racing, thank you very much for the super chat. Saying I really hope Elon Musk doesn't get involved in any major scandals. I mean, that's not going to last uh, because Elon Gate will go on forever. <laughs> uh, I mean, you're not wrong. I'm going to give you a boo for the terrible pun. But it's also almost guaranteed with that utter lunatic. Uh, so, yeah, it's probably going to happen. Uh, Walter, thank you very much for the donation. Saying happy Friday, Alex and crew. Uh, sadly, I'm just stopping in for a minute. Uh, job interview in an hour. Wish me luck. Ah, well, best of luck indeed uh, to you. I hope you have a, have a successful job interview. And I think we've broken everything. You know what? It's going to be quicker. It's going to be quicker to do this than wait for you to figure out what you're doing, game. Uh, <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Chris, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, so Porsche designed the cockpit for the Airbus A300 in the early 80s. I did not know that. Random facts with Chris uh, are indeed teaching me something new. Um... I, I didn't know. To be fair, like car manufacturers have designed all sorts of odds and ends throughout the years. Um, it perhaps doesn't surprise me that you know, some of, one of those design places would use, like, you know, if you need to design a cockpit for a plane, you might go to a very successful, um, uh, you know, car manufacturer. Uh, I don't think this is going to work, but we're going to try. Can we get everybody in in a minute and a half? This is the new race. <laughs> this is the new race. Minute and a half to get everyone connected. They're doing well. They're doing it's the race to get connected. If you're in a Watkins Glen race, you might be about to be invaded by 10 idiots. 11 idiots? We've got 11, 11 idiots. May end up invade your Watkins Glen race. I'd like, I do quite. Oh, it's night time. I'd like Watkins Glen less at night. Um. We're going to join. I will try and join. I mean, we are basically going to get one lap of qualifying, maybe two. Um, <laughs> it's going to be a little bit dicey. I don't think we've got Shadow in. Shadows just seem to have connection. Not that there's Shadow. Okay, I think once Shadow's in, and then I think we're good to go. To go and get connected. We'll try and get. It's, this is the jankiest way to go. Join race. Okay, we're in. Maybe. We might crash. Uh, <laughs> Oh, it's been... We're doing speed-running server connections. Um, oh, Alex uh, jo Joanning? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that one correctly, but thank you very much indeed for an incredibly generous, incredibly generous super chat. A will alert to you. Oh, dear God, this is really dark. <laughs> I thank you for your incredible generosity. For the next race, we're not going to be able to see anything. Um, this is, this is going to be a thing. I wonder if, because we joined super late, we've got a lobby to ourselves! We might actually have an entire lobby to ourselves, because you're not going to be able to get into this now, because they sign up. We've taken over a lobby! Never mind it being... It's not Fail Race versus the world, it's Fail Race has made its own island, and it's... So to be fair, actually, I like the sound of that. 
Fell Race has made its own island and it wants to live on its own. Can I have my own island, please? <laughs> I like the sound of having my own island. <laughs> That's a sneaky way to create your own lobby. <laughs> That's actually... Yeah, if you if you have a big party and you, you join with like 20, 30 seconds to go, it's not going to have any room to create... That's really... They had never thought about We might have figured out a system. Wonder if it keeps us all together. Let's that'll be a test. Um, yeah, who knows whether this one here is going to work? You are, so you are welcome to join. There is no invites for this. These are public sessions. If you if you are joining the races, you might end up dumped in a race with us. We kind of cheesed it a little bit here to take our own lobby. It wasn't really the goal of what we were doing, but uh, yeah, we have not actually successfully done this, which is kind of funky, uh, but cool. Uh, yeah, we will see what we can do here with Watkins. I don't know Watkins very... I like Watkins Glen. I'm not very good at the circuit, I think, is probably the best way. It's one of the, tr the tracks that, yeah, I, I like driving it, but I don't drive it often enough to know it well enough to be all that fast. Uh, slight bit worried about it. This bit here is quite nice and light. Oh, that is not the line through there. God, I'm going to have a spin if I'm not careful. Um, I'm worried about the, 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 say, the visibility because I just don't know. I don't know where the hell I'm breaking down here. Uh, so we are in qualifying. We will be able to drive through Speedy's car, for example. Uh, so, yeah, it doesn't really matter if that car ends up in front of us. Uh, I got that a bit wrong through there. And in theory, this session, these classes are balanced. Now... Oh, I I don't know how balanced the vehicles are. The Audi and the Porsche seem to be very strong. Well, we saw a Viper do well in the previous race. Um, it's not perfect, but it is better than just running them all stock, I think. It is fair to say. No, nope, that's not quite right. <laughs> uh, I asked a lot of the car. It went a bit wrong, shall we say. Uh, this lap's not great. I think I might find myself at the back, although I probably wasn't. It's actually lighter around here than I was expecting. The floodlight is quite well floodlit. I don't think Watkins Glen is particularly floodlit most of the time, but I could be completely wrong. Uh, Speed Beast has bailed on that lap, or was only ever going to do one lap. God, we might only get time for one lap here. Uh, it's going to be super close. If I have beans up this next lap at all, we are done for. No, we're not going to... Oh, it's going to have to be a hell of a good... Uh, okay, we're going to have to go for a great final lap, because I think we're going to just run out of time. But I shall I shall do my very best. I shall do my very best, even though I'm being a big old coward into turn one here. I just don't know what... I mean, in some ways, it's more important that I don't miss turn... Like, I would rather be a little bit of a coward through there than running too hot and completely ruin the lap, I guess. Uh, maybe there for the braking. Ruskies hit the wall with a V8 supercar. Ninetales is better than me. Uh, <laughs> Ninetales is faster than me. There is no doubt about it uh, at the moment. Ninetales is currently on pole. Whether they will stay there, uh, we will wait and see. Oh, not got that corner right. I mean, if we can follow Ninetales, Ninetales comes past and then we can follow them. Maybe that will help us. Three laps of fuel. That doesn't matter. How do the tyres stick up? Is anyone going to try running? God, not, I cannot do that corner. Is anyone going to try and brave running softs for a whole race? I don't think you'd get away with it. Even for four laps, I just think softs will die. Although you might make a big enough gap early on that you get away with... That is another corner. I really suck at. <laughs> not got the speed of the nine tails here. I get to the finish line though and have this lap count otherwise we are going to be down towards the back of the grid don't don't dirty the lap now as tempting as it is to accidentally overdrive the car uh, do not dirty the lap at this important juncture yeah you uh, no, I think you'd really struggle okay it's third place for us Ooh, we made it across uh, <laughs> we made it across the line just I don't think um, I don't think 
a lot of cars got a particularly competitive lap time. I also love the V8 supercar livery. That is glorious um, on the, Vol the Volvo. Uh, that's fantastic. That's really, really good. Uh, don't go bloody... Don't put it on wet tyres, you moron. Nine tails. Is anyone going to be brave and go on softs? Uh, Ewan is flicking through. For a second, Ewan was on wets. Um, we're actually going on hards. That's a choice. Um, the rest are on mediums. So, yeah, dirty lap times and, and lap time not set. Always going to make a little bit of a skewed up, messed up grid. Um, me and Shadow very close. Nine tails was astonishingly quick. Uh, me and Shadow close in Pega. Danger Man, Longbow, all very close together. What, what car is Bray? Oh, Brazen's in the faux Volvo. <laughs> it is my favourite car on the grid. That has immediately, just immediately become my favourite car on the grid. Um, that's awesome. I don't think the V8 supercar is particularly good. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, the, the, the Vol, the Volfo, that, that, yeah, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna have to go download that paint for my V8 supercar. Uh, the Volvo was the best V8 supercar. It was a sad day when they sort of discontinued using it. It was awesome. It's absolutely awesome. It was the best. Was, was will always be, I think, one of my favourite race cars. That Volvo V8 supercar. Uh, well done to whoever put the V8. I didn't actually see who put the V8 supercar into into fourth. That is a good. That is a pegger. Nicely done, Impega. Oh, we bogged down off the line. Didn't quite go. Oh, God, the, in, I bogged down off the line not very nicely. Impega just did not go. Impega just didn't get that off the line at all. Uh, we are alongside Shadow. We're going to make this awkward coming into the S's. I don't trust cold tyres in my rather oversteery car. Uh, I'd rather lift than try and make that work, have a twitch and wreck. I was worried on that line we were going to have a big big accident basically I mean, it looks really cool all the all the headlights and so on racing up the hills uh, oh, I've got this corner wrong not as wrong as nine tails and shadow they've both completely missed it uh, that will be a second place for me I love that he did not get a penalty for that one which really surprised me I mean they didn't lose time through that they, they very clearly lost time I was able to profit I'm gonna guess they drove in like they were on soft tires oh, and suddenly alert they do not have the grip that you get on soft tyres there uh, that, or medium tyres sorry that, I'm going to guess is what happened no behave Audi Ninetales doing exactly the same thing we pretty much had synchronised uh, sliding on the run out of that corner this is where I think I lose a bunch of time I just always feel like I'm too slow through this corner I either break way too late yeah I just cannot take oh. I mean I went off track less than Ninetales Okay, thankfully I didn't get a penalty. Ninetales didn't get a penalty, so we can get away with that. Yeah, that corner, oh, is definitely where I struggle. Although the next corner we just lit up the rear and got very, very sideways. Not going to be able to hold that through there. Shadow is sliding about as well. Yeah, struggling a little bit with the Audi at the moment. Danger Man is right there behind us. It was Shadow's turn to take a slide out of that corner. Uh, can we have a dive into turn one? Maybe. Uh, wasn't quite wasn't quite sure where the breaking point was and I lost the game of break chicken with Shadow. Uh, Danger Man is going to go alongside, going up the S's. Well, he's got the momentum. He's going to get the place for now. Shadow's sliding about all over the place. Gliska's right behind us. Gliska's got the Ferrari. That's a monster down the straights. Won't be as good in the corners. Will be very fast down here. Uh, that's going to be trouble for me. I'm just going to back off and let them sort themselves out a little bit through there. Uh, Shadow comes out a bit worse, unfortunately. Uh, that's not yet, yeah, not so, not so great. Pega's got a V8 supercar right behind us again. That has recovered. Uh, we just sort of, yeah, didn't have a great run through there. We didn't really have anywhere to go at that section. We're now going to deal with a very fast Ferrari. So we know how quick... That, that Ferrari is in a straight line. It will struggle through these corners. Don't hit that kerb. Oh, I'm struggling through there. Uh, Longbow with a Corvette. Not actually seen anything with... Not really seen that Corvette turn up in, in this sort of lobby. I don't know what it's like in terms of speed. Uh, oh, we are on the outside of everybody. We are getting absolutely mugged, although 
Uh, Longbow was out wide on the exit. Someone's got a bloody strobe light attached to the front of their car. Who is that? Was that Shadow that had turned an R8 into a disco ball? Maybe. <laughs> I know, yeah. Shadow, Shadow has got a disco ball going on on the front of their car. Uh, that's peculiar. Maybe a little bit of damage is like clipping somewhere or something. Don't know. Uh, whoa. That's some sliding for me. Not what we want. Uh, what is that Corvette like? Not as fast down the straight as the Audi, it would seem. Don't know. I really just don't know where to break for turn one. I can see Shadow is on the inside. Oh, we're going to get pushed. Uh, if I get a penalty for that, I'm going to be very unhappy. Uh, <laughs> oh, and that's why when you shove the nose up the inside through there, you've got to be a bit careful. Uh, bloody hell. Yeah, I mean, I don't really appreciate being nudged the entire way up the hill, but, you know, <laughs> I've got to turn in. You're barely alongside at that point. Uh, however, at the end of the day, it's kind of all academic. It doesn't really matter uh, because we came out worse uh, from from all of that. I don't think... I think I just set a half-decent lap time because I was one of the few cars that got a second flying lap and stayed out of trouble. I don't think I was particularly fast at this track. But, yeah. Oh, well. Uh, we don't have time to... Well, I mean, we may be able to get back past Brazen uh, in this one. Possibly. Uh, if we have a good... Uh, if we have a good run. We have a good sort of final lap. Speed Beast is fighting you, and someone's fallen off the back of the, of the group. Uh, don't know. I don't know. Don't know who was, who was back there, who's not having a great race. Uh, come on. Come on, Aldi. We, there's a big fight, still a big fight, essentially for second back, I think, is all just in a group. Nine Tails is incredibly quick around here. Oh, Brazen got a little bit of a... Did he get a bit of a tag or did he get a bit of a twitch? Didn't really see. Uh, do I want third through that? Probably wanted fourth, but we've made it work anyway. Uh, now, can we do something about the, the Volfo up ahead? We will try and chase it down. Uh, yeah, I've not, I have not been driving this particularly, particularly amazingly, not going to lie, have done, have driven much better races. Uh, we are through turn one very nicely. Tempted to do the same to Longbow, but not going to. Uh, through the S's here. Uh, uh, we'll just sit in the slip street. So the Volvo is going to be very... Uh, the Volvo is probably going to be quicker down the street than we are. The Audi's got great speed, but I don't really like trying to overtake down here. Because we, we, if we had enough overspeed to get alongside, I'd do it. But we were always only ever going to be barely to the rear wheel doing that. Um, so, yeah, it was always going to be difficult. The Volvo's got a load of oversteer. I know it's not actually a Volvo, but, you know, for, for amusement's sake, I'm going to call it that. Uh, we were going to give Brazen a big push out of that corner. Uh, <laughs> I was actually hoping to get Brazen back alongside Longbow. Uh, however, it did not quite work. Uh, we will have the grip. We'll have the grip to go to the outside there, but I just struggle with the acceleration off of the corner. Cannot quite do it. Brazen will get back past again with that Volvo superior straight line speed. Uh, I mean, we don't have to be... Actually, Brazen's got a big penalty. I thought that was a long way with the 1.9 uh, second penalty. It was not. Uh, I could have been a lot more aggressive under brakes there to get to the inside of Brazen. Uh, we have got the manoeuvre completed. Oh, my rear tyres have gone off. Yeah, rear tyres have gone off big time for me. Uh, they are very, very, all of a sudden got very slidey at the end of this race. Uh, we were perhaps pushing a little bit too hard. <laughs> oh, yeah, it fell apart a little bit. Uh, but, but it was good fun. Uh, I could definitely go a lot quicker with that car. Couldn't, no, no chance I'd get anywhere near Ninetales' lap time. Uh, <laughs> that's astonishingly fast. I think Ninetales may have done this track and car combination and everything before. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was sick at the end of the day. Um, yeah, what, I say, what, what can, what can we do? Um, I think we did what, did what I could with a sort of combination that I wasn't the most uh, comfortable with. That's a comfortable. I just don't know that combination, that car, that track, all that well. So we were a little bit squiffy. Um, 
But yeah, well done, Nine Tails. That was stupidly quick. Gliska did well with that Ferrari, mixing it up there. Uh, <laughs> uh, getting the Ferrari up there. Right, we're going to try go and continue, and we're going to see if this works. It may break. Um, I just don't know what's going to happen. We will see. We will see. Um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, I think I saw a super chat coming while I was racing uh, as well. Uh, do, 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 uh, the other sign, thank you very much, for <laughs> the super chat. Uh, so, do you miss the limo yet? Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, I like the fun cars. I always liked the fun cars in Forza games. It's a slight shame that, uh, that we no longer have them. I understand Forza's focus on, on more realistic, sensible motorsport and everything. I do get that. However, it is a shame that we have lost some of the fun cars. I think this is broken. I think we're going to have to... Yeah, okay. I think we're going to have to go back to the menu every time. I think that's the only way it's going to work. Possibly. Don't tell me I'm going to have to dashboard it every time. Uh, right, okay, well, we're back here. God, this is a faff and a half to do. I mean, if we if we miss this one, we can just go and do touring. No, can't really go do touring cars very easily. Let's not miss this one. We've got three minutes. We'll get this. Should get this. Maybe get this. Possibly. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Fingers crossed and all that. Um, uh, Dash... Cam captures, thank you very much for the super chat saying, Can you do Aussie uh, V8 race on Silverstone? Uh, well, if Silverstone comes up, maybe because we're doing, we're doing something slightly, slightly different uh, today, this evening, this afternoon, morning, depending on what part of the world you are in, uh, where we are racing public lobby. So we don't really have a huge amount of control over what we're doing. Um, we're doing this because. We wanted to race with the higher tyre wear and all of that sort of stuff, and we can't do that in private lobbies. The only way we can do that is with these public lobbies. Um, oh, Brazen's game's crashed. Oh, Forza. <laughs> it's just it's just a big sigh. That just about sums it up. Oh, Brazen's back. Um, okay, we've got ten. We're missing someone. Is it... Nope, it's not Shadow. Is it Speed Beast? I think it is. We may be in a lobby with other people. Um, now, yeah, if you want to take part in these races, your best bet is to try and time it. There we go. Time it until about when we join, because we're probably going to create a new lobby because we're 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 joining um, very very late in these. So if you join with a couple of minutes left, when as we join, you might get into it. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, Brett, the tire wear is not realistic. The tire wear when we're doing this is absolutely not realistic. This is artificially sped up. Uh, which means that you can have a short race with all the fun of, of tyre wear. Uh, the tyre wear, when you run a, a private event, when you run a normal event, does feel, I would I would guess, at what would be realistic. Um, when I, I did it, I did a test for it in a video, actually. Um, it took 30 or 40 minutes of soft tyre running before they started losing speed, and they degraded in a way that feels realistic. Whether it is, I don't know, but uh, felt realistic. Hey, we created our own lobby again. I wonder if anybody is going to join... Uh, is going to be able to get into this one. Um, but yeah, this is massively accelerated. I wish I had the option to set this in private lobbies because at the end of the day, this is a lot more fun. When, you, when, you want, when you're not wanting to do a two-hour long race, um, you know, it's fun uh, having this. Oh, it looks like I, I recognise some names. Silver Trigger, I recognise Trombone, I recognise... So I'm going to guess some of you are managing to sneak into our lobby. Uh, which is fine. Uh, which is you know, the point of what we're doing here. Um, you know, there may well be some randoms around the place. Um, but, yeah, there we go. Uh, it's, it's it's a real shame. I would, I would say, and we will go... Don't, don't worry, we're not going to do every stream like this. Um... It's a real shame that we can't do the tyre wear stuff ourselves. I don't know why it was decided that we don't get that fun. Hopefully, I fingers crossed, big fingers crossed moment is that that will be uh, on its way. You know, that's uh, that, that that's, that's, that's the dream. That's very much that. I think Shadow crashed. Uh, right, and that is the end of the 
sign-in period, so I don't know how many how many people we actually have in this race. Oh, and just pause. I mean, it's better than it was the other day. Oh, well, I say that. Half the filming crew are crashing out. I'm going to guess it's maybe applying tunes that have done... Maybe applying tunes that's done it? I'm not actually completely sure. Uh, could could be that. Could be just selecting cars. Oh, weird on the grass there. Was not fun. Weird on the grass is bad. Uh, it is not what you want to do through that section. Uh, now, again. Oh, oh, bloody hell. It really, is had, it really has had a nightmare. Um, uh, yeah, but we have a problem with the playing tune. It's getting stuck. Oh, oh no, I've missed the hairpin. So, yeah, we've lost about half of our numbers are gone. <sighs> I mean, it, it, it sadly, it sadly just about bloody sums up Forza, which is a really, a really frustrating... We, we talked about it at great length. Uh, oh, and Danger Man's gone as well. So, by the looks of it, it's only me, Brazen, Speed Beast, Ninetales, and Impega, uh, I think. Yeah, we, we've talked about it at length. And I think I'm going to have to. There, there will be. There's a video on its way soon. Um, it was going to be. A little, it was going to be out this week, but uh, various things delayed it. Because uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's ridiculous, quite frankly. And it's got to this, I say this stage where it is this broken. Uh, I mean, at least we are able to play the. Well, I say we're able to play the game. Barely able to play the game, really. Uh, <laughs> You <laughs> see, you see the difficulty we're having with just trying to keep ten people together in one of these races. Oh, that, oh, that, that was dirty because I wandered off at the hairpin. Uh, that's well, we sent it quite hard into turn. There's so much more speed through turn one than I extracted there. I kind of sent it quite quickly into turn one, and then we sort of dithered and we didn't get it right. And, and Pega's disconnected as well. We are off to a flying, flying start through all of this. Uh, I love it. I love it when Forza misbehaves and doesn't... I mean, it doesn't work, essentially. Uh, right, we can... I mean, this is going to be our final qualifying lap. I don't think we're going to get time. That's going to be a... Oh, I thought I turned in too soon. I thought that was going to be a cut, but it wasn't. Uh, we s amazingly got away with that. Uh, so that... Trans Am car is restricted and I say changed so it, it's it, in stock guys that Trans Am would be an absolute monster it would completely run away from the GT cars, uh, it got a lot more power and is lighter I think as well even if it's very difficult to handle the game does some form of balancing and it just kills a lot of its straight line speed I think it's quite good, I've never really driven it in this class oh no 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 that spoon all horribly wrong this lap is not going to be great, but it's going to be better than the first lap, which is something. <laughs> it's not much, but it's something. It's better than nothing. We will probably put ourselves around fifth or sixth, I would imagine. Depends on what cars later on are going to be doing. 130R flat. No, it's not. And uh, never mind, my qualifying is ruined. Ah. Okay, not quite. Not quite. God damn it, it's going to be. I say it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a much better. Now. I don't think we don't think we're matching Brazen yet, but <sighs> ass, <laughs> absolute ass from me. Oh, we would have put it on pole. I mean, Brazen may well still go quicker. I would have put it on pole had I not just ran wide. I mean, I didn't really gain any advantage from that running wide. Oh, that's so f so frustrating. Um, Actually, never mind. Razor's gone quicker. That makes me feel slightly better. Uh, <laughs> uh, that, that makes me feel... I'll tell you a little bit better. No, it was a quick lap, but... We ran wide at 130 yards. Jesus, the tyres are absolutely... Even if I had the time to go again, I would have destroyed the tyres. So the final lap wouldn't have mattered regardless. Hello, Ewan. How are you doing? I'm a long way back. Uh, <laughs> uh, Danish, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, I've loved your content and wanted to support the channel for years, and I'm finding a place where I'm not living paycheck to paycheck anymore. Uh, so I'm proud to say, say this, 
This is for the years of entertainment. Sorry, I'm struggling with, it, with English. And hopefully many still to come. Cheers. Oh, well, thank you very much indeed. Uh, the donation is greatly appreciated. Glad to hear that uh, the things are going well for you as well. Always, always nice to hear. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you. The donation is always immensely, immensely appreciated. Um, I am hoping there will be many more years of Fail Race content to come. I am all the way at the back. Christ, so Brazen's on pole. Good work, Brazen. Ninetales is second. Oh, we would have been second. Uh, and then we got some random silvers up there. Uh, Ewan is in eighth. Uh, Speed Beast is tenth. And that is all, all we had left here. We are in fifteenth on the grid. What an idiot I am. Right. So I'm going to guess Suzuka's probably really hard on tyres. If the softs were dead after two laps, we might actually... I reckon these mediums are going to be really... I'm really grumpy by the end of this. You are not making the finish. I mean, maybe you're going for a pit. I don't know. There we go. <laughs> oh, you're going hard tyres. See, I think the mediums are going to be crying by the end of this. I really think the mediums aren't going to enjoy this. So the hard tyres may be not the... I wondered if anybody was going to go for it. I did wonder if anyone was going to go for it. It could be a good... I don't think it's going to win you the race. I think... You know, brazen nine times. I think anyone quick enough is going to be too far away that when the tires go off at the end, they can just cruise about and will make it. Uh, they're not going to go off that quick. I don't think. Maybe the hard tires are a legendary call. Cool. Um, maybe I should have gambled with those being much so much further back in the pack. Although you'll really struggle to move forward uh, with the hard tires. So yeah. Mm. It, that is that is one of those calls that, yeah, being further back, maybe the hard tyres would work, but also you're not going to be able to get through the traffic. I tried to just kill the wheel spin off the line. It's slightly bogged doing that, but I think tyre wear is going to be, a, certainly with my, my driving in this game, I am not gentle on tyres, uh, so I'm a little bit concerned. Oh, that's unfortunate. Poor Speed Beast got hip-checked by a Viper that just chucked it down there. God, it's, when you're in the pack, you just cannot go quickly through here. Now, I'm pretty sure that Beamer is the one on hard, so not only are we all stacked up here, but also uh, the BMW. Oh! Hello, Corvette. Thanks for that. Oh, awesome. Uh, oh, wow! You astonishing twat of a game. Oh, and it might have been a big pile-up anyway. Um, so... <laughs> I, the, the Corvette, I think, was busy trying to pull itself off the grass and everything. I get slammed into and I get the penalty. Yeah, that's fun. Oh, there's the boat leap having an adventure. Um, awesome. So, yeah, we've got a half second penalty. Absolutely nothing I could do about that one. Uh, thankfully, we didn't get a penalty for the next collision. I mean, I, I say they're public lobbies and stuff's going to happen. Um, it could have been worse uh, accidents that has gone on. That is the, that is the issue that the um, hard tyre brings you, is that Beamer was very slow in the middle of the pack. So what is the issue it runs into is you're just, you've got a lot of cars trying to get past and it stacks people up. When things spread out, if you survive till things are spread out of the hard tyres, you, you might, it might work. Uh, but yeah, it's always going to be always going to be a problem. Now, we could not take this flat. Oh, that's so on the edge of what's doable. I think my tyres were a bit cold to be doing that. I'm going to go with the tyres were very chilly. I and mean, they're not chilly anymore. I think I might need new underwear as well. From the new race suit is in order because that was, that was a millimetre away from a tremendous smash. Uh, but there we go. We are out of it, all of the mess. We're in ninth. I see a big group of cars that I'm hoping we can go and chase down, if at all possible. We can go and join the fun. Uh, the top two are gone. I'm going to presume that is a Brazen and a Ninetales. Uh, they were pretty quick in qualifying. I could have been, should have been up there. We were not. So, yeah, this is our, this is our punishment. We have got to try and work our way through this mess of a pack. Um, there is Silver struggling a little bit with that uh, dodge. Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's quite quick over a course of a lap, is that Trans Am car, but in racing situations, it has I have seen it generally struggle. Uh, 
Oh, that's an awful rejoin. I mean, there was just about space. Uh, there was just about space to get that Porsche back on the circuit, but it was not very good. Um, I mean, do you want my car to just disappear? Because you're certainly driving like you're expecting me to not... <laughs> oh, Rexy's got turned. Rexy got turned across the nose of an NSX. I wasn't actually looking to see what might have happened. There's a lot of penalties going on around uh, the vehicles. We're up to seventh now. Oh, that's very early on the brakes up there. I'm going to get underneath you through Spoon, and I will say thank you very much. And that'll put me up into sixth place. Ewan? Oh, no, Ewan's not there anymore. Well, Ewan is still kind of there, a little bit further back. Uh, okay, are we clear of the cars behind? We are. They are not going to be close enough. I don't know what's happening. One, I'm going to guess their steering stopped working. That was a tr that was a big off for the Audi there. That looked like a steering glitch or a controller. No, I mean a controller turn off. But uh, that just went straight before one third. I saw it was, it was on the grass and I was confused as to what on earth they were doing. But that's some sort of error. Uh, controller or glitchy whatever. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we're up to fifth. Can we chase down silver? That is... I mean, that's really the only goal we've got left in this one is can we get up to fourth? Uh, third is a little too far away. I'm probably not... I mean, even if I was a second a lap faster than third, we'd run out of time. Uh, will my tyres last? Will I cook my tyres again? Is the next big question. I'm going to guess... I'm going to guess the final few corners are going to be very sketchy. Although it depends on... Uh, so it depends on how, how hard we go through this part of the race. Whether... If we get up behind Silver and we're properly battling, or Sylvia, sorry, then maybe. But if they all end up. So, as I'm, I'm calling you Silver, I've been bloody playing Cyberpunk <laughs> too much the last few days. Uh, uh, right. That's way too deep into the hairpin. Okay, so we are all catching the R8 in third. It could be one hell of a final lap. Or we could just cruise around in this fifth spot, not really able to do very much. Uh, Silly is a little wide through there. Oh, I've got a penalty for it too, uh, which is, I mean, really unfair considering we gained time on them. They they essentially lost time with that moment, but you know, <laughs> penalties aren't they, they aren't great. This is the things you have to put up with. To get the interesting, fun, like, tyre wear events, this is the crap you have to put up with. Uh, right, one more time around the circuit. So Brazen leads comfortably from Nine Tails. Can we do any... I mean, we've gained maybe a time... We're very similar lap times to Sylvia, but we are both catching the car ahead quite quickly. That was a one. That was a two oh two nine. I know there's a bit more pace in the car. I'm sure. They're not terrible for a medium tyre. Not far off what I was doing the softs in. Ooh, qualifying. That's gonna not help my tyres at all. Doing that. Don't slide the car like an idiot. Uh, through the S's we go. This is where the tyres, of course, do hurt quite a lot. The Audi in third is very much being caught. Now, even if you do catch, this is not an easy track to pass on. I'm desperately trying not to spin the car. Oh, Sylvia's off. Sylvia's gone. Pushing hard, trying to catch. Put a wheel on the grass, uh, on, the, on the sand. Uh, once you end up out there, you just get dragged off the circuit. Unfortunate for the dodge. My tyres are really hurting. I wonder whether the dodge may have eaten its tyres as well. Uh, new mine would be. Oh god, car ahead is struggling as well. That was a a big, I say a big moment. Certainly a loss of time went on there for the vehicle ahead. I am not looking forward to 130R. A corner that's been very close to flat out is now going to be a lot different. These cars do not. Well, my car certainly isn't turning. They are struggling big time with that R8. So they've cooked their tyres more than I've destroyed mine. 
we are well ahead of the vehicle behind. Now, I, oh, we're going to go for it. They were slow down here. Uh, I'm on a tight line on Rex tyres. We still get oversteer through there. Uh, I'm going to break a little bit earlier than I have been down here because I know we're on absolutely ruined, ruined rubber. Can we get off this corner well enough to make that half a second gap that we need to beat them? to third place. It's a drag to the line. I'm racing a fictional time, essentially, here. Please let me keep third. Ah! Oh. No, oh, we lost it by hundreds. That is disappointing. Jeez, we, our fastest lap was very good. <laughs> we were up there with bloody brazen, and that's saying something. That's saying something. Uh, yeah, we were right up there. Sylvia was also similar sort of lap time, but just that little mistake at the end, as it may well have been dead tyres. Um, yeah, I mean, that honestly, that should really be a third, considering our penalty was got by a car having a crash into the side of us, uh, which is very disappointing. But yeah, so we were chasing that down. It killed its tyres. We killed our tyres. Um, yeah. Uh, well done. Ugh. But yeah. Oh, it was a fun race. Brazen having a um, a wonderful run at the front. It's another fourth. We can't quite get on the podium tonight so far. <laughs> Fingers crossed we will. Um, going forward. But there we go. Andrew, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, hope a donate is working today. It is indeed. It is indeed. Uh, by the way, bum. <laughs> Been a long time. Uh, since I put that, oh, amazing maturity right there, amazing maturity. I guess someone has to do it. Um, I guess that someone, someone has to go and do it. Oh dear. Right, we're going to try and get everybody back again. Uh, oh, we leveled up. Cool. Uh, right, let's get everybody in to the pre-race screen. We'll try again. It might work. I mean, it's definitely not been super reliable. Could have been worse could have been a lot better basically we'll try and get everybody in when we get out of here we should have enough time i don't know whether uh two minutes right speed run connection we can get everybody in it's, it looks like it could be drizzly nasty rain um i mean if we don't if we do fail we'll just go to touring cars uh, but yeah, it looks like it's some sort of drizzly nasty rain here at Homestead. That could be quite interesting. We're not seeing weather affected ones yet with the old GT cars. Um, so yeah, we will we will we will do that. Um, I don't, I'm gonna I I have a feeling I'm going to spin. The fact that I have managed to get uh, sort of so far through um without any sort of spins uh is <laughs> good it's good good for me um have we got no we're still missing a couple uh longbow has invited them we will hopefully if it gets if it get okay ewan's in if it gets to like one minute i'm just gonna have to join sorry to whoever we may be trying to get connected i'm not sure who we haven't got yet is it shadow shadow is in uh, Speed Beast, I think, is the one that is uh, that is not quite connected. But yeah, to just to try and get stuff in. Um, <laughs> uh, I quite, I mean, I I like Homestead. I'm not sure it works amazingly well with GT cars. It wouldn't be the track I would personally pick for GT cars. I do like it for like A class cars. It's an interesting track. Um, all right, sorry, Speed Beast. We'll have to get you in the next one. We will jump in here again. If you time it right, if you join, uh, if 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 you want to take part. Wait until we are about at this, this end stage, as I'm about to connect and then search for a race, and you, you may well get dumped into the same one as as us. Basically, because we've got such a big group, we are going into these sessions and we're basically creating a new lobby. Because uh, I doubt there's going to be many lobbies with 10 spaces available the as the race is about to begin. So yeah, we're going to... I'm sticking with what I know. I'm sorry, I know maybe not be the most, most creative of it, but I... I Sticking with what I know here. Uh, Ada? I don't know if I pronounced that one correctly at all, but thank you very much for the super chat. There wasn't a message with it, but thank you. It is uh, it is greatly appreciated indeed. 
Uh, right, let's go. Uh, looks like it's going to be just us lot. Only nine of us made it in. There were ten of us, and then there were nine. That tells you Forza being Forza. <laughs> uh, oh, Forza. Uh, we're just going to run enough fuel so I don't have to change it later on. Um, oh, we're down to seven. Uh, it's still got some real problems. Oh, wait, actually, what was the weather? Overcast wet. Overcast wet normally means it dries up. It kind of has this drizzle, uh, but it doesn't really... It's not. This is not really a wet race. Uh, this. It looks, it looks iffy. Wow, we down. We actually seriously down to just. I don't know. Okay, we've got some people. We're down to three people. Uh, Forza. <laughs> like we have these great plans. We have these great ideas. Like, oh, this will be fun. This will be good. Forza just doesn't let you ever execute the great plans. Um, yeah, yeah, we can't find a way. Right. Maybe we just go and do a private lobby. I, yeah, I think as much as I want this to work, um, it's just the, the, the constant crashing. Uh, I mean, we 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 tried. I think um, I don't know, actually. I'm gonna leave without group because I'm not. Let's not confuse it. Um, yeah, we 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 tried really hard to get it to behave, but if it's just gonna be janky and, and keep crashing. Um, we will go and we'll try a private lobby. Uh, it, it means we sadly cannot have any of the fun tyre wear or tyre strategy, etc. Uh, and I'm slightly... There's a little bit of a concern here that this might have problems itself. Uh, we will wait and see. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't... I don't know. Uh, right, let's us go and start with... I don't want to bother with that, because it, it won't matter. Uh, we are going to... Actually, uh, we, we had a good... We had an hour-ish where it kind of sort of worked. Uh, <laughs> kind of sort of worked being the best way to sum up. You know what? Somebody requested Silverstone with V8 supercars, so you know what? I'm all for it. We are going to go Silverstone. We're going to go with random weather. God knows what it's going to do. We're going to have the track starting... Level a little bit lower. Sure, why not? Uh, so, yeah, V8 supercars. You can drive whichever one of the V8 supercars you fancy. Uh, I will be probably driving Ford. Um, they're all pretty close from, from what we saw previously. Uh, they do seem to be yeah, relatively... Uh, relatively equal, relatively com comparable. Um... So yeah, we will we will go and see. Now, if you do, you know what we're going to make Ewan work. Ewan's had an evening of not having to invite anybody. <laughs> so, if you want to take part, you can send a message to Ewan, either on Xbox or via the Xbox app. If you are on PC, um, so yeah, send Ewan a message, and Ewan will try and get you connected. What is the weather going to be like? Kind of want it to be rain. Kind actually, I want it to be drizzle. Oh no, it's a glorious day. It is a glorious sunny day. They do happen. Believe it or not, it's rare. They do happen. Uh, <laughs> they, they absolutely do happen. I've been to Silverstone in a lot of heat a couple of times. Um, I've been to Silverstone in the dreary, cold, miserable rain as well. <laughs> that also happens. That's less fun. I've been to Donington where it's cold and wet. And while I like Donington Park as a circuit, it's quite miserable when it's when it's very cold and very wet. It gets very windy. I mean, to be fair, a lot of racetracks, if it's a cold, miserable day, it does tend to get quite windy. It does kind of tend to be a bit miserable. But I have one particular memory of Donington. Um, I say relatively recently, probably like five, six years ago now, where it's just really cold. I couldn't feel my feet by the end of it. Uh, it's just really, really cold. Um, right, sorry. If you do want to take part, Ewan, here we go. This is the game tag on the screen currently. Ewan is the person to message. Um... Yeah, if he sends you a message on Xbox or via the app, if you are on PC, you will try and uh, get you connected as best as possible. You really don't know how reliable this is going to be. Oh, we should also say, so the first, we're going to do the old trick. I forgot about this 
we thought we were going to have to do this now because we're in a private lobby. Uh, we're going to do the old trick of we're going to do a one lap race. This one lap race doesn't really count for anything. This is just to try and get as many cars loaded for each other as possible. Uh, it's just it's the it's the workaround. It's the fudge that we have come up with in a vague attempt to make it work. Uh, it, it should, could, Ooh. might, possibly work. Um, it, yeah, it generally works. But it does mean this race is going to be an absolute mess. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be, going to be a real interesting mess. Uh, Eagle, thank you very much for the donation. I will alert you. Uh, saying, can I request a race at Laguna Outer, please? Uh, you can. I won't do it with V8 supercars. It'll be in something a lot slower, a lot more manageable uh, for for the Laguna Outer layout. It's an interesting layout. I will I will say that much. Um, I prefer the normal. I, I mean, I do. I do prefer the normal Laguna layout. That being said, the outer the outer loop it does make. I guess what becomes turn two at the Laguna out, or kind of turn two, where where the outer loop rejoins the main circuit. It makes that corner amazing. I really, really like it, but it makes turn one sketchy as anything. But it's an interesting layout. It's a cool layout to have in the game. As I said, well, as I said, when I started playing the game, I've never, I've never heard of or seen that layout ever before. And Laguna has been in so many racing games. Laguna may well be the most... in. Of all the race circuits I can think of, I think Laguna has been in the most games. I can't think of a track that has been more consistently in game. I mean, it's, and it's been in from everything from mobile games to, you know, Forces and Grand Tour. They've been in so many games. I love that they do generally put it in everything. That they are generally happy to have anybody can. That's not anybody, but you know, everyone can uh, use the tracks in the game, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, that outer loop I've never seen before. <laughs> it's just which. To me, is, is, is sort of fascinating. It's, it's amazing that, uh, that that is the case. Um, I do worry, judging by just the amount of disconnects at the moment. It's not as bad as it has been, but it does already fill me with fear that this is what we are going to see. Is brazen in the the Volfo? Maybe. It doesn't seem to have a livery. They sometimes load, they sometimes don't. We've got a lot of people in cars. Not quite right. That's not quite right. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that's also very much not a Holden game. That's uh, that's a Lotus. <laughs> that's not quite what you're supposed to be showing. I mean, that's well, that's a Corvette, which is wrong. And oh, never mind, they've got it in the right. Well, it was a Corvette, which was wrong, but it's also being shown as a BMW. That's also the wrong touring car. I mean, you can race a front-wheel drive Focus if you fancy. It's working very well for you. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, you, you don't want you don't want a Civic for this or a Cadillac or a Veloster, uh, for that matter. All sorts of weird things. Um, all sorts of weird things. Uh, Arnold, thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, making a request for a one make race with the Caterham Superlight, please. Oh, that's going to be a twitchy death trap. But we can give it a go. I mean, yeah, I'm happy to give that a go. I have not driven the Caterham in this game. I do remember. Previously, how sketchy and scary they were to go driving with. We'll give it a go. I mean, you see, one of the things I would love to see in this. Uh, oh, I love that livery. That's such a. I, I, I do think nine So I got distracted. I got distracted by an absolutely awesome paint. Uh, I am a massive fan of Borderlands. I'm pretty sure Ninetales has run. Ninetales and I know Ruskies also a very big fan of Borderlands. I don't know if Ruskies has run. I know Ninetales has run Borderlands. Um, liveries before, and these date back a long time in, in older Forza Motorsports and everything. So it's good to see the return of the the Maliwan uh, livery. Really, really cool to see Borderlands. Um, so Maliwan works so well for a racing livery. As that's incredible. I don't know if Ninetales did it themselves or whether that was. It, it shows that the designs not by anybody. That doesn't mean that th this is broken. This screen, but uh, that's a really cool livery. I hope it loads. <laughs> That's, that's that's my main hope. Uh, that's the wrong touring car. Uh, that's also uh, well. That's it is it is in Longbow. Is in a Holden. It's just showing up as a not Longbow's disc. No, someone else is disconnected. Oh, bloody Forza, honestly. Um, if you do get disconnected, we will try and get you back in. We'll do it. We'll, we're doing what we can. 
We're working with what we can at the moment. Um, but yeah, there we go. If everyone could get readied up so we can try and get something started. This is just the one lap test race as well, by the way. So if we could get everyone ready up quickly so we can try and get uh, this started. So we can hopefully have everybody be able to see each other's cars. So that then when we actually do a race, it will behave itself. It's, there we go, right. Uh, oh, sorry, Jacob, you might end up being stuck as a spectator for this. But that should, I say should work. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to do. It should work, right? It's not like we're going to break something. Like, I don't know, we can break something much more than it currently is. What could possibly go wrong? Other than a car that can't see anybody and just drive through it. All, all, all comers. Right, game, please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't make me go play Cyberpunk instead. Uh, <laughs> you're on thin ice. You know, it's a sad time when Cyberpunk is the stable game. Uh, right, we are... I'm on the wrong tyres, but it's only the test race, so we get away with that. I wasn't really thinking. Uh, the, fo the, the Volvo is back. Brazen's vehicle is there. Oh, yeah, we we're, were a little bit squeezed, but we were always on the wrong tyres for this anyway. Um, so we turn the penalties off. We, I generally don't run penalties. I don't really want to. As we saw in that previous one, while, yes, penalties are required. I say required. I'll kind of need for some of the public stuff. Jesus, Ninetales got chucked into that. Um, the problem you get is that they just aren't fair. Uh, someone, whoa. God, I think the car that hit me got hit. Again, this is the test race, right? This is always a bit silly. We are expecting cars to not be able to see each other. Um, that is one of the many problems. Hopefully, by the hopefully next race is going to be different and a bit cleaner. That would be the goal. Also, I'll be on the right tyres. That might help me out because the mediums are not great. Well, I mean, okay, they're not bad, but they are going to be about around here. I would imagine two seconds a lap slower. Maybe uh, give or take. Depends on the uh, yeah two seconds. We're two seconds at maximum, a lap slower. Uh, we are not going to be able to do... Oh, Shadow and Rusty got connected. I missed my breaking point. It's a little bit of a learning experience uh, around here. Rusky's gone for the full BTCC line. Uh, <laughs> rejoining. Don't know how fast through maggots and baggots. Oh, God, that curb's horrible. Don't attack that curb so much. As uh, trombone is finding out as well. Yep, that's a horrible curb. Do not run over it. That's a very slidey holder in front of me. I will say thank you very much. And I will move my way uh, up a position. Doesn't all, all the slight academic just test race, just to make our cars load. Uh, they do seem to be doing, like, we have seemed to be, whoa, a bit better at seeing cars. Maybe. I don't know if that, that is it, I'm not looking back to be able to see whether that is a is that a nine tails taking a cheaty line? If there's someone who's trying to find a cheaty line on these test races, it's normally nine tails. No, it was in Pega. It was not the cheat I was expecting. Uh, ah, <laughs> Pega, you asshole! <laughs> Yay! I was trying to get tenth. God damn it! Uh, ah, <laughs> sneaky twat. <laughs> uh, God dear! I thought we were going to sneak our way past. Right. You know, that was the silliest. That was the test. Let's say test race. That is the let's try it. I hope. I think. I don't think we had too many vehicles, not too many people not being able to see other cars. It's a good start. Good, good news for us, really. Um, so maybe that bug is gradually being fixed. Let's not speak too soon, but maybe. Just maybe that is going to start the. I don't know why I'm saying that. Cause it's for the, they will fix that and then they will break something else. <laughs> Uh, don't cheer on him, Pekka. Christ, you're going to you're going to encourage more antics like that. Uh, <laughs> uh, is that a real livery on Longbow's car? I don't recognise it, but it looks too it looks too much like a real livery. Um, I don't think it is. It looks like it's got a lot of. It looks like it's got a lot of the right stickers for a V8 supercar but it also I don't remember having seen maybe it's an old one that I don't recognise I don't remember seeing certainly a modern V8 supercar like that someone might correct me on that uh, it looked good it was good, good looking livery 
Uh, I saw a yellow car, and I presumed it was Brazen at the front of the start, at the start of the race, but uh, of course Brazen's in, in the Volvo. Uh, right, let's go and increase the number of laps. We're going to go for a six-lap race here. Um, hopefully, uh, it will behave itself, just making sure I had all of that set. We do. Grid ordering is random. Hopefully we start a little bit higher up next time. Fantastic. Ah. Right, we'll get everybody ready. We'll maybe if we if, I don't know if there are any spaces, I don't know what the server's been like. Janky is my best is the best way I think I can uh, I can sum it up. Yeah, no, who's disconnected? The fact that that's scrolled up suggests someone may have disconnected yet. So if you do want to take part Ewan is the person to message somewhere. No, we lost Ewan. Uh oh. Oh no, our invite, <laughs> our inviter has crashed. <laughs> no. Uh, that's a pro. I can already see how it's going to go. We lost a Ewan and we lost a Gliska. We'll try and get them back in before we start. Ewan is back. <sighs> Wonderful. And Gliska is back. Okay. But, uh, there's, there's actually a lot of Holdens in this. Oh, this Ford's further down. Well, that's a Ford, but you know the wrong one. Um, yeah, so you you do want to take part. Ewan is the person to message whose game tag is on the screen currently. We probably won't get you in for this race, but we'll get you in hopefully for future ones if Forza behaves itself. However, Ewan may have a disconnection along the way. It's quite possible. Uh, <laughs> we will see. Um, uh, Drake. Thank you very much for the donation. It's like I heard, uh, I heard a lot that Forza Motorsports PC version had a lot of bugs in it when launched, but not spiders. They're arachnids. You're gonna get a boo on that one. Um, uh, my Xbox crashed when playing Motorsport. That's the last time I let it get drunk from taking a, a lot of screenshots. P.S. Cult One P. Cult One P is back. You're going to get boos from me. All tires. Thank you, chat. You very, very kind people. Uh, tires, I guess I can dump out a load of fuel, but uh, tires are the more important thing. Uh, the yeah, supercar's quite thirsty, actually. I'm going to make sure it's got enough. that working? Oh, it's working now. That's amazing. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Mike. It literally decided to turn off just as the race started. That's really frustrating. I am kind of glad I saw it before the race started, because if I hadn't seen it before the race started, we would have gone the entire race and I wouldn't have noticed. Um, I think we've got a couple of cars there that have the camera in the pit lane glitch. Possibly, because that one's that one doesn't seem to have any steering, which makes me think camera and pit lane glitch, or the just no steering glitch. That one is also possible. It's sad that there are two absolutely game-breaking bugs that can occur in this um, that just render your car completely useless. And I don't know why. Uh, they are new. They're new bugs as well. I haven't seen them in older forces. No, Ford. Behave yourself. Well, any chance of us getting a decent finishing position? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's no steering glitch for one of the cars. Uh, that does not surprise me. Uh, uh, yeah, J Jacob and the other game tag, I didn't see the what it was, I have got the no steering glitch, where you just load in and all you can do is drive forward. Now, if you can manage to somehow bounce your car across some walls and get it to the pit lane, it will reset your steering. 
that's that's literally the only thing you can do to fix it. <laughs> that's it. That's all you can do. Um, I Horizon 5 may have had that when it came out. I never saw it. I never experienced it. I never saw anyone in filming or anything uh, had that issue. We've never come across it before. I'm not saying it hasn't happened in Horizon 5 or another Forza game, but it's certainly not one that I have ever come across. Or we have, or we have, yeah, we have dealt with particularly. Um, but yeah, there we go. Right, we are almost back onto the tail end of the pack. It's not going to be a great finishing position for us. Oh, Speed Beast has had an adventure on the uh, final corner. Yeah, I mean, could we break into the top ten? Even that, I think, is going to be difficult. Pack so the tight, the pack so tightly clumped up, it will be struggling for pace a little bit. There is a chance that shenanigans may unfold and we will be able to do something, but it's only a small chance, really. We will take whatever positions we can get. Uh, I mean, these are... They're not quite as crazy as the Trans Am cars, but these are pretty brutal race cars. And it's, yeah, going to... To be fair, the modern V8 supercars are actually more difficult than these. These have more downforce than the modern ones, I think. The modern ones have gone very, very, I'd say very old school. Um, I don't know a huge amount, but yeah, I know the mod modern ones are really not easy to drive at all. Uh, <laughs> these things, I love them. It is one of my favourite race series in the world. They are brilliantly insane, VA supercars. Uh, we are going to sneak our way past. Uh, yeah, that was a little too late on the brakes there. You are going to go for a wander wide. Oh, you're off for the BTCC line and you're off into the tyre bundle. Uh, I'm sure someone's crashed a touring car in there. Well, I, mean, I guess Verstappen ended up in there, but uh, <laughs> uh, I'm sure someone's put a touring car in there. I just can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, right. Jacob's managing to get around the lap with no steering. Quite impressive, to be honest, to have managed to get that far around the lap. Uh, you know, you could do it without any steering, but it's yeah, nicely done, considering we're only on lap two. Okay, be patient, be patient, be patient. Want to get on the throttle, don't stamp on it too hard. Not sure why you're in the pits, but sure, go for it. Uh, unless you put the car on the wrong tyres, but if you're on the wrong tyres, you just have to suffer, because there's no... There's no... Oh, no chance you're going to make up the time uh, in a six-lap race, but I will take whatever positions we can get here. Uh, it did move us up into a 16 or 15 position, sorry. Now, we've got those two ahead would be our only real goal. After that, it's a really big gap. We can catch them, get involved in that fight. Awesome. Oh, that's a really big hit on the curb. Uh, be, say be very patient with the card through the corner. I say feed in the power. Instead, no, what we do is we just stamp on it and hope for the best. Uh, <laughs> this is why this is why my tyres never last. Um, oh, we've got cars running out. Yeah, maybe too, too lower a fuel from... I don't know, actually. Sometimes the game does load... It. Ah, I, maybe you joined when we had it set on one lap. The game just put in the one lap for the test race worth of fuel, and uh, that, would, that would probably be what it did. So yeah, it was fueling the car for the one lap test race. But we've, of course, up to the laps afterwards. So that would probably be what has done it. Uh, it's unfortunate. Yeah, got to keep an eye on the uh, on the fuel loads when you go into these races. Sometimes you get a little bit screwed over. Uh, we're not catching. I mean, I'm, as much as I absolutely love these cars, they are about the least me sort of a race car. They're Larry the back end moves around a lot uh, and I don't have a huge amount of confidence in them, which is not what I want from my race car, I don't think I wanted fourth there, that was a bit foolish I think we wanted third for that exit, but it should be, we might still be enough to get us alongside, we're going to have a look at the end of the strike, sensible overtaking spot, we will just cruise the car alongside and that will move us up into 14, back end with a little wiggle Oh, there's another one that did not have enough fuel. Uh, they're going to have a look, but they're not going to be close enough to get a pass there. Uh, but maybe, I say, if it wasn't such a 
faff of a car to drive. Would have liked to have been able to look back and see if I was clear to turn across there, but all is fine. All has worked out, at least. Uh, that's maybe a bit too much speed into turn one. Not going to help us. We've now got a seven-second gap. Yeah, barring accidents for cars ahead, we kind of just sat here, which is a bit of a shame. Would have, would have liked... Like to be a part of it. Just good old tech issues. I don't even know what I did. I didn't even normally. Normally, if the microphone's going to play silly buggers, you normally I normally have to have knocked the wire or something. But uh, that one it just it just decided it wasn't going to. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't going to work. Oh well, we can try and go for. We can try and go for a fastest lap. We can try and hope for misfortune for vehicles ahead. But even if they fall off the road somewhere, it's not like we're going to really be able to... Even if you run wide, we had a spin up catch, but even if car like just running wide on the gravel, still going to be a good few seconds up the road for me. That's not how you take that corner. Uh, that's fine. We're going full touring cars around there. <laughs> not, get, not get that one right. Just gave up trying to sort it out, basically. Oh yeah, I didn't actually get it. Oh, no. Bloody hell, that curb there is something else. It doesn't kill every car, but certainly on some of these, like, low race cars, all of that damage is from that curb. I keep thinking... Well, I say I keep... I'm trying not to cut the corner. I'm not aiming. I'm, I, I keep thinking, cut it as close as I can to that curb without actually hitting it is what I'm aiming for. Did not get it right. Did, did not get it right whatsoever. It's really frustrating seeing the, the, the great, fun-looking battle up ahead and just knowing that there is nothing I can do to be a part of it. Because even if I go very quickly, we're not going to be able to catch. That lap's been scruffy, uh, to say the least. There's definitely... Well, I mean, there's way more speed in this car. I am not great with this particular vehicle. Uh, oh. We're going to have little bits of oversteer all the way through there. Yeah, I do not know exactly what I'm doing with this car. Definitely Ninetales is quicker than I am. Oh, can we get that away with second? I think, I think we've got to try and get away with it in second, even if we're just going to light up the rear wheel. So we caught Valentine a little bit this lap. However... You know, we can catch half a tenth even if we caught two seconds this lap. It's going to make zero difference overall. We've left the rest of the pack. Don't worry, we're going to do another race with V8 Supercars. Mostly because I'd like to be able to take part in it. <laughs> I'm very glad that literally all I did to get the microphone working was unplug it and then plug it back in again. I'm glad it wasn't any more complicated procedure. I couldn't have picked a word. Like, if it broke... We had the entire race and it broke now. Well, at least, you know, it's not too bad. Uh, is that right for turn? The old turn one? Uh, that seems better. Now, don't hit the curb. Don't hit the curb. Still going to hit the curb. I know I'm going to hit the curb. Uh, oh, definitely going to hit the curb if I do that. Went in way too deep. Okay, we can ride on that bit of the curb. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> this time, we did not break the front end of our car. Happy days. That is what we like. Uh, we've gained... Uh, I can see that there's a huge, like, six-car, five, six-car trade up there. I would love to be racing. Oh, we've got... I thought this was the final lap. No, we've got one more lap after this. Okay, sure. Uh, do I want fourth? A few of these corners. I think fourth is okay there. Don't think I'd have got away with third. Anyway, uh, put it back down to second for this. Yeah, we are... We are catching, certainly this lap, we've caught Valentin by about a second. Uh, no, no, got it sat up on the kerb. Couldn't get it to turn in particularly well. Oh, we are catching up to these two. All right, now there's maybe half a chance for us to catch something by the end of the race. 11th and 12th. I, I imagine they may have tangled and there may have been some waiting for uh, the others. The other vehicle would be my guess. Oh. No, behave, behave, Ford. Nah, no. God, God damn it. As soon as I saw cars, as I fell out of rhythm, I just got it a little bit sideways, and now I've overheated the tyres, and now I just want to slide everywhere. God damn it. 
<laughs> Even if I hadn't done that, it was going to be difficult for us. But, uh... Yeah, uh, okay, that is the lap down car that is trying to keep out of the way. They are, they've got control of their car back at least. That is, so actually you don't need, yes, yeah, so they don't really need to keep out of the way because we have got the ghosting the back markers turned on, uh, which is a helpful thing that we can do. Yeah, it's been a really scruffy lap. Could have and should have been a lot better. I, mean, I don't think we were catching the cars ahead anyway, uh, but yeah, it really didn't help uh, that we made an absolute mess of that first section. Oh, got on the power. He just desperately wants to slide everywhere. If they go side by side through Maggots and Beckett's, that would help me out quite a lot in terms of I can just attack this section a lot harder than they can. Because, uh, yeah, side by side, you're going to really lose a whole heap of time. Uh, back end, behave. Oh, they've made contact and around goes a Holden. Well saved, well recovered. Uh, in that one, I think Car Guy is going to wait for it. Well, you know what? I, we picked up the pieces. It didn't really matter that we've had a terrible final lap because we would have picked up the pieces anyway from that one because they lost a big chunk of time. Uh, <laughs> uh, and there we go. It's going to be it's going to be eleventh place for us by the looks of it. Yeah, not amazing. However. Oh, Shadow had a spin at the end by the looks. Oh, Shadow's in the pits? I don't know. Shadow lost a bunch of time. Um, and, yeah, there we go. Did not did not have the pace of Ninetales or Grim or any of those much faster than me. To be fair, we never really got into a rhythm around there. Never really, never really got set properly for that particular race. Um, there was... Easily, easily a load more time in that car for like for me. Um, but there we go. <laughs> Tis the way it happens sometimes. Uh, Chixa is somehow for, things are broken uh, in all of this. Who, who would have thought it? Um, somehow they managed to finish in a time of nine minutes forty-eight, despite not having any steering, and I think quitting on the first lap. Oh no, they would have obviously got completed a lap because they, they didn't have a best lap time. Uh, <laughs> oh, Forza. Uh, what can you. At this point, what can you say other than oh, Forza? I feel like that is just the most. It is the only really applicable thing for this one. However, we will move on. I mean, my. My race went awry a lot earlier. Uh, yeah, okay, so we don't don't have the proper podium. Uh, sure, okay, game. That's yeah. You you've just snuck your way onto a podium. <laughs> oh, awesome! Well done, well done, Forza. Right. We move forward, we move on to the next race, where hopefully there is less... I thought the game was about to crash then. It, it black screened. I don't quite know why it black screened. I did think it was about to have a very annoying crash, but thankfully, thankfully it did not. Uh, right, where do we want to go and run? Uh, actually, you know what, let's go Grand Oak Raceway. Sure, let's do it. Uh, I feel like this is a track V8 supercars would probably go and run around. Let's go. More random weather, so I don't know what it's going to do. Could do anything. I honestly don't know whether I want rain or not. I think probably not. I'm bad enough as it is. Uh, <laughs> it's not rain. Oh, and now... <laughs> uh. I mean, it was going to happen eventually. What are we, an hour and a half in? Oh, bloody hell. <sighs> I like Grand Oak. It's quite a fun circuit. Did we stay connected? No, no, not us, we didn't. Did enough people stay connected? <sighs> hmm. 
Now, hopefully, I mean, we, we've seen a bunch of people have the odd disconnect. We have seen that. Maybe we're just going to be one. We're not quite at the point where we were last week yet. Um, I don't know who has ended up being host. Uh, but yeah, it was it was only a me. Well, it's not even a disconnect. It was only me with a game crash. Um, I mean, there probably have been others as well, but for for now, it is only. Uh, only my game that, that had a had an issue. Right, let's go and find our uh, good old V8 supercar. Here it is. Who did end up with the host privileges? Who are we going to have to shout out to change settings? It was Speed Beast. Okay. Uh, yeah, we lost a couple, I think. Uh, if you do want to take part, there, we may be able to get you connected. It may work. It possibly won't. Uh, <laughs> Ewan is the person to message. Game tag on the screen currently, either on Xbox or via the app, if you're on PC. Uh, yeah, We'll try and get you connected. There is absolutely no guarantee how long you're going to stay in the lobby. You may be in the lobby for one race. You may stay through fine. Um, yeah, who knows? <laughs> who bloody knows at this point? Uh, right, car. Let's go and at least set our vehicle up. Please don't crash while I'm doing this. We are going to want... I always tend to put in just a little bit more fuel than is needed. Just to make sure. Uh, especially after, for those of you that watched the 150 horsepower racing, when the cadet burnt its way through all of its fuel very, very quickly. Uh, now that was a slightly different type of racing. A slightly... What's the word for it? It's wacky form of racing, because you were just in the rev limiter for a long time around Lime Rock. You were really high in the rev range. Um... But I think it's always worth being safe. I think it's always worth just playing it a little bit cautiously. Because uh, I'm not just not fast enough to know the... Uh, I say no, notice the difference in in the fuel loads. So, yeah, I might as well might as well make sure that, uh, that we get to the end of all of this. Uh, the ultimate is technically... I should get the little, the little graph. Uh, the Ford is apparently the better handling. The Holden is the slightly faster accelerating. And the Ultima is slightly slower in a straight line. I mean, it's all very, very similar. Uh, and I mean, to be fair, the... The Ultima... I mean, it, it won some races. It was never the best of the V8 supercars. It did, it did, it did well enough. But yeah, it was never anything crazy amazing. So that probably makes sort of some amount of sense. Um, we will hopefully be getting going in a minute. Uh, yeah, I mean, who knows what Forza is going to, to work in terms of... Uh, I, I say in terms of filming, yeah, we filmed on Tuesday, we filmed some Forza and it held up the entire time. Uh, it seems to be, I mean, it was Longbow that suggested uh, which... Uh, I say I kind of agree. Some sort of like almost memory leaking issue with the also with the Forza servers. Uh, in that when there's an update, they seem to work. On the next day, it works really well. And the further and further it gets, wait, hold on. Just notice it's bloody raining. Okay, it's overcast wet, so it won't actually stay stay raining. Um, yeah, for like the first few days after an update, it seems to work, and then it just gets worse and worse and worse as time goes on. Um, So, yeah. <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen come Monday? Who knows what's going to happen next week if we try and film on this game? Hopefully, we're... I say hopefully we're wrong. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, but, yeah. We will see. We will see going forward. Once the race... It does seem to be predominantly in the lobby. Once you're actually... Oh, wow, we're a long way back. Once you're in the race... I'm not gonna say it can't crash, but definitely once you once the race has started, it seems better. It does seem to kind of behave a little bit nicer. No idea how fast we can go through turn one. Don't know this track very well at all. Don't know this track. Do not know these cars. Oh, we are in the middle of the mess. Oh, that was yeah, never likely to work. We'll try and straighten people up. 
uh, through there if we can. Uh, we are caught on the outside. Well, it's not terrible to be on the outside because, Daz, you're going to have to drive better than that or we are just going to kick you because that's three cars in as many corners that you've managed to bump into. Uh, thankfully, we kind of served them off the circuit. Uh, but yeah, drive better or you will get the boot in the next race. Uh, right, we are out of there. We are at least closer to the pack. We can hopefully find some cars to be racing with. If somebody had a big running wide moment. I really do need to learn this. So you need to learn this track. Uh, it, is, it is a good... Like, the fictional circuits on this, pretty good fun, actually. Uh, oh, that's a big slide for Chigster. Oh, it's a big slide for me. Oh, I've got a massive twitch. Tried to get on the throttle to pull alongside. Just couldn't hold it. Ewan's adventuring. Recovered it before going into the gravel. But, uh, yeah, there was some adventuring from a Ewan right there. Okay, what can we do through here? See, we're quick through turn one. Got nowhere to really go with it. Might be able to duck underneath the Ewan through here. Problem is, it kind of tightens up on its way through this part, which is a bit nasty to deal with. We're on the outside all the way through here. Ewan may struggle to carry speed, but I can, again, get that sort of kick of oversteer on the way up. Uh, Ewan is going to go to the inside. I mean, this is a good overtaking spot if you get it right. I am currently just playing it a little bit safe. Let them bump into each other. Focus on getting a good run. I had to lift too much behind you and essentially there uh, to really make the most of that uh, part of the circle. That, that, but most of that line, I just had to hold for too long as they were fighting for one another. Now, do not slide the car out of the corner too much. Well, I thought I could get on the power when I did. I thought we were sort of straight enough to be able to jump on the throttle. It, it worked for getting past Ewan, but it was only just. It was a real only just moment. Okay, turn one. Little tap on the brake. Sort of coasting. It's basically coasting to turn one through there, because I'm not 100% sure where I need to be on the brakes at all. That part on the curb, a bit too much. Ewan's gone wide anyway, that kind of saves me a little bit because we were a smidge slow through that section. Big plumes of smoke and dust from a car ahead. Don't know who was getting all crossed up, but certainly somebody was. Uh, the pack is very, very condensed at the moment. Uh, Jacob is leading the way and everybody is all bunched up behind. Uh, oh, we were on the absolute edge of the circuit through there. It is just, it's difficult to overtake. You just get these really big trains of cars sometimes and it is tough to, to it's actually just feel very much like a V8 supercar race in some, in some respects you get these big groups of cars that are struggling to pass uh, at times I'm going to try and be careful on the throttle this time around. There we go that's what I try to do when passing Ewan only I misjudged it. We actually still didn't quite get it. I think I can get a missed one year uh, through there. Don't understand too wide. Oh, erratics in a bit of trouble. Yeah, really easy mistake to make on that final corner. Speed Beast is on a terrible line into turn one. Uh, we're again having to check up. <laughs> so it's, it's difficult. We are you know, we're trying to make the most of speed where we can, but we can't always uh, actually utilise that because you know we've got to check up for cars ahead and whatnot. Uh, now, we are up to 15. Again, from the back of the grid, from a slightly janky start, it could be worse. There's a chance we might make ourselves uh, make our way into the top 10. That's sort of what we're going for here. If we can, I mean, I can see 10th this time around, which is good. Try and not end up in Longbow's door. That would be, you know, to be avoided, really. Uh, don't, don't want to go and do that. It's a, such a big group of cars up ahead. Uh, we are a little late on... Well, so we're a little later on the brakes there than Longbow. Kind of pushed Longbow into the... Uh, to, into the pack. It's a big nose to... Nose to tail of cars through there. We are... Oh, someone has run out of fuel, I'm going to guess. Well, that is at least an easy pass for us. You know, it's lovely and easy getting past a car that's going in the pits for some fuel. Shadow might be about to get hung out to dry here on the outside. 
we kind of want to follow Longbow through here if at all possible. Uh, did not know how much speed Longbow was going to take. Couldn't quite get the move done on Shadow uh, through there. Although, if we can hold it here, well, we'll be on the inside for the next corner. However, the inside's not always the best place to be. And Pegas made it to the front of the pack. Uh, couldn't do it uh, through there. Maybe a short shift to fourth can do us some good. Longbow's got a run on Silver. We've got a run on Shadow. Although we've all got a run on Silver because they were quite slow going up that hill. Uh, I really should have gone for a move there, I think. Longbow's got big oversteer. We've got a great run through that corner. Uh, I just held a little bit and then we got on the power and we should pass Shadow up the inside down here. We're going to run a little bit deep though. I was a little too brave under brake. I had such a good run up there. My braking point for the next corner was wrong. We were carrying so much speed. Uh, oh, yeah, that was always looking like a little bit of trouble. Longbow got in strife and everyone just checked up. We are going to profit from this and move ourselves up a position. Oh, very wide through there, though. Uh, Longbow may well get back past us, though, into turn one. We're going to run it in very quick through there to try and fend off from Longbow, which we do. Now, can we chase Balatane down? Will we get stuck in the fight behind more than moving forward? That is the real question here. Can I do anything about moving forward? Not if I slide the car about like that. There we go. Get it settled. Get on the power nicely, which we did. Although is still there. It's Ford versus Holden once again. Uh, you know, it's an age-old battle. Uh, maybe I only want to go down to fourth through here. A lot of understeer. All the way into that corner. I could not quite carry the spin. I don't know if I'd wanted fourth. I think maybe third would have been the way to go down there. You do run the risk of getting a lot of wheel spin if you go down to third. Uh, we happen to try and defend from Longbow through that corner, which is fine. We get away with that one. Now, patience, patience, patience. Not my strong suit, not my strong suit. Oh, not the biggest slide we could have had. Don't know whether Longbow lit up the rears either through there, quite possibly. Valentine's caught the cars ahead. Someone's had an accident. Uh, who's that car guy? He's going to lose a whole bunch of positions, and we are hopefully going to be able to sweep around the outside, and that does put us into the top ten. Okay, from the back of the grid to tenth, not a bad run. Um, that is car guy again having a look underneath. Never really going to be a huge amount of space uh, for that one. Yeah, you can follow through here, but it's not going to quite be enough. We've got a Good run through there. Rusky's going to be very vulnerable into the next corner. Uh, he's got no speed. Danger Man's lost a bunch of time as well. I uh, don't know whether Danger Man was waiting for someone or some sort of issue there. Uh, it seemed very, very slow. And that moves us up another spot. We did go back down to third this time around. Okay. Rusky's battling with Car Guy. We are just a little bit out of range, I think for them to be trying to get past us in this next braking zone. One more lap to go. I mean, we can see sixth. Sixth would be very much the best result we could possibly get out of this. Excuse me, Rusky. <laughs> you could try and push me around the corner. I'm not going to get around that corner any faster. Uh, all you're going to do is slow yourself down, essentially. Can we pass either of these two? All oh, get loads of understeer in the slipstream through there. I was not expecting that much understeer through that section. Uh, wow, they really backed it off through turn one. I was actually quite slow, felt quite slow through there. I was slightly worried I was going to go into the back of them. But there we go. Oh, trying to duck underneath. Not quite going to work through there. Now, can I do the pass? Essentially the pass I did on Rusky down here. If you're sliding and you're out of position, I uh, actually did quite a good job still. Carried enough momentum up here that I could not be having a look. There's a lot more spread out up at the front this lap around, or I say by now. Has kind of chilled out a bit after the absolute mayhem of the start. Valentine slid through there. I couldn't pull my car to the side without giving him a little bit of a hurry up bump. Not what I wanted to do, but uh, yeah, it was going to happen. Now, can we run the car in around the outside? Be on the inside for the final corner. No, not quite. Rusky's going to have a look but it's not going to be an easy one to do. We're all going to line up down here. I lifted to not run into the back of the car ahead. Rusky did not. Uh, <laughs> over 
Uh, yeah, I mean, if you see the cars ahead slowing down, right, you're going to have to have a lift. It's just not going to work otherwise. Um, yeah. Uh, if we didn't have so many cars behind, um, we didn't have so many cars behind, I feel like we could probably have done... I say gone far, we could probably you know, found a way past Valentine if I ha wasn't having to worry about the, the vehicles behind looking for ways past and whatnot. Um, but I mean, hey, I'll still take it. Couldn't quite get the sixth that would probably have been ultimately the highest position we could have got in that one. However, it was a good, was a good recovery drive, uh, second recovery drive, but from a low spot on the grid. Um, we clawed our way up into eighth place. Uh, an exciting race, that is for sure. Um, ah, oh, Ewan didn't have the car on the right tyres. Ah, that would do it. That would, uh, <laughs> uh, that would, that would do it. Brazen was third, I think it was Nine Tails in second, and Impega uh, took the victory in all of that. Um, and there we go, we've got, we've got all liveried cars as well turning up, which is nice. <laughs> oh, bloody hell, what a... I say, I say what a race. What a race indeed. Um, okay. We are going to try we'll see if we can get the message to our now lobby host. Uh, the track is going to be up to Ninetail uh, not Ninetail, sorry, up to Speed Beast uh, in, in terms of they're, they're in control of the lobby or probably get shouted at by everyone. We're going to do a one make race. We're going to do a one make race with the Caterhams. Now, I'm a little bit concerned these might be twitchy death machines, but I don't know. Uh, of course, Caterham racing is an immensely popular thing. I wish, I very much wish that we actually had the entry level Caterhams. Like, the super light is cool, but I really wish we had, like, the proper entry level Caterhams for proper, sort of, Caterham cup racing. <laughs> like, that's, that I would love. I would love to see. I mean, these things are, you know, great cars. They're very, very quick for what they are. Um, however, I would love to see a, an actual Caterham Cup car. One of the much lower spec ones. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to try it. I have not done something. I have, I have not driven this car. Don't know how it's going to pan out. Speed Beast can pick the circuit. God help us all. Um... Oh, uh, okay. Well, we will, we will, it was, it was requested, we will have a go, it just might not be a very long race. Um, we will, we will have a go to, to showcase what they are. <laughs> and we will, we will see, yeah, Twitchy Death Traps is what I expect. Um, so yeah, we shall see what, uh, what might transpire. Uh, Drake, thank you very much for the, where are we going here? Uh, Lime Rock, okay. I thought it was Lime Rock. It's a bit of a weird because it was way it was so zoomed in. Um, yeah, it's gonna be an interesting one. <laughs> it's gonna be an interesting one. Uh, Drake, thank you very much for the donation. Saying some say it is too frightening to paint uh, his head on a pumpkin for Halloween uh, because all the petrol disappears if this happens, and that when he dreams he's like Apollo, except he makes turbo flutter noises. All we know is he's called Derek. Ah, oh, good old, good old AI driver, good old Derek on Forza. I mean, outside of fail race stuff, no one is going to know what on earth we are talking about when we talk about Derek. But, uh, <laughs> uh, so again, for those of you, maybe it's the first time watching my channel, I, I don't know if anybody has wandered their way in, in, in today um, for, for a first time, but... When, like most of us, you can't be asked to drive your car around for an exorbitant amount of time just to get enough levels to do something with it, we, you set your AI doing it. You turn all the assists on and then you go and make your AI drive around the circuit. That AI has been nicknamed Derek. It was Ewan's fault. Uh, Ewan started it. I say Ewan started Ewan's fault. Um, the, the joke came about because the... AI driver, Ewan's AI driver at some point was set going and just immediately went straight into a wall and then didn't do anything. Um, so, <laughs> that's that's where that's where the name Derek came from. The great fail race law information for you that you needed right there for those of you that are uh, vaguely curious about stuff. 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, got gotta love good old Derek. I've not had any issues with my AI driver. I've seen a few people's had their AI drivers get stuck and um, uh, get lost, have silly crashes and so on. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I can't remember who from the filming crew, I think someone went, like, left their AI to go and drive overnight for them and came back and it had got stuck within, like, two minutes. So it was stuck against the wall and hadn't moved. So, <laughs> so it left everything running and got absolutely nowhere. Um, so, there we go. Uh, can you turbo glitch these? Uh, no, I don't think it would work. Well, you could turbo glitch them, but you wouldn't detune them. Because I pr uh, I think the super light doesn't have a turbo. So basically, the turbo glitch, the, the way you're dropping PI, we're dropping PI massively out of vehicles, is... Essentially, you trick the game into taking the turbo off. Now, for that to work, the base car has to be turbocharged, which is why things like the Chiron, why things like the Cyan that I have in A-Class, um, the reason they work is you basically take the turbo off and it dumps out all the power. The way the game calculates the power from the turbos uh, seems to be related to boost pressure. From Longbow's research, I haven't actually really looked into it, but from what Longbow was saying, the more boost pressure the car has... Um, it kind of makes sense. The the bigger the the power drop when you you know take the turbo off, um, but I believe the catering is naturally aspirated. So if you put if you did the turbo glitch on the catering, what you'd actually be doing is putting a turbo on it, which feels a lot more dangerous. If I'm being honest. Uh <laughs> uh, so yeah, it, it feels dicey. I don't, which is kind of not what you want. You don't actually want the turbo on. I mean, these are going to be. This is going to be a sketchy race. I don't think this is going to be as good as the V8 supercar race. We could be wrong. Could be wrong. As I said, I've not driven this. This was, it was requested for a wonderful, generous donator. Uh, <laughs> let's see what happens. I think you just wanted to see us have a really big crash. I think that was what the goal was at the end of the day. Um, <laughs> Brazen says, a caterum with more than 150 horsepower is not a caterum. I would mostly agree with that one, to be fair. Um, the whole point of the caterum is a super lightweight and not very much power. Uh, the, I mean, the super light is an insanely fast car in, in real life. You know, they're an incredibly quick vehicle because you have... What is it, 170? I'm not, I don't want to go into any menus because I don't want to crash the game. I think it was about 170 horsepower. When you have 170 horsepower in a car that weighs this little, it's terrifyingly quick. Um, but yeah, low, lower power caterums. I wish I wish we got the proper low power caterum race car in the game. Or, or, or like massive restrictors. I guess we can fudge it with the lobby settings. There is a way you can reduce power. So I guess you could do that. Um to get the car down to where you would want it. Not really experimented much with with those settings yet. Uh, okay, I think we're good to go. Uh, just waiting for Daz to ready up. So that we... Oh, there we go. We're off. This is going to be sketchy. <laughs> uh, Mike, thank you very much for the uh, super chat. Say, please do Road America uh, with stock classic muscle cars. Uh, it might have to be a one-make race for any semblance of balance. Um, we can definitely have a look. I can't remember what, I can't remember what classic muscle cars there are in, in, in here. The um, uh, classic cars are difficult to drive. Muscle cars, not so bad. Classic race cars are an absolute handful. Um, they are really difficult to, <laughs> to get speed out of. Oh, game. What is going on with your grid spots? Holy crap. Uh... We have not had any luck. It's at least put us back. Well, Nine Tails is also going to have a difficult race, as is. Oh, you and you and has got a coloured car. Uh, oh, they really understeer. Okay, we found a gap. There has been some snappy oversteer. I'm just leaving it in second and trying to beat. Whoa. Yep. It is as dangerous as you would expect a very powerful caterum to be. Uh, we're on the outside of a nine tails, which I don't know if I want to be. <gasps> on the outside of it, it's not so much on the outside of nine tails. It's the problem. It's that I am I have almost got a wheel on the dirt. That's the part that I don't like. 
We're, we're closer to a massive accident. Oh, the car goes sideways up the hill. Yep, that's terrifying. Uh, you know what, Ninetales, you are clearly faster than I am here. Uh, I am almost not going to fight you too much. Uh, that's okay, that's fine, we will. I mean, if Ninetales gets past and then I can follow Ninetales, don't know where to break down here. I'm going to perhaps be a little bit early, but I would rather be a bit earlier down there than, yeah, run into trouble. Oh, I've got all sorts of twitching and difficulties through here. Uh, it's, I mean, I've got quite a lot of fuel in the car, which we don't need. However, I'm not sure that's making all that much difference in terms of lap time. Uh, third gear... I was going for in trying to uh, save off from some oversteer related dangers. That crest is so, so risky in these cars. Uh, oh, lagging vehicle, don't know where it's going to be. Longbow was coming on the circuit while Blinkmobile was there. I, that was trying, we were trying to find a gap between a lagging car that I wasn't quite sure where it was and a Longbow that was re-emerging on the circuit. Oh, I haven't got manual clutch on. That's probably what's making a difference with some of these as well. I turned it off because I'm not quite figured out. Probably would want it. I mean, it would make you faster with this car, I would think. But I turned it off when uh, what was it? we were filming something. I don't think I put it back on yet. Um, so that might be why we're struggling a little bit with some acceleration zones. Because uh, you will lose a little bit of time. I just cannot get the feel for manual and clutch on this game yet. Uh, right. As you fair, a lot of the cars, if I build a car now, race gearbox goes in everything anyway, so it's slightly less significant. We've fought our way back past Longbow. We are up into eighth place now. Oh, off the kerb. Uh, Ratic's going to lose a spot. I've got the final quarter. All manners of wrong through there. Then we've got a big switch. Longbow's got the final quarter correct. Uh, Longbow is going to... Well, we're going to send Longbow to the outside. That's fine. Uh, we will defend. That is a car out wide. I will take that position from you. Thank you very much. Uh, can we look for a way into sixth? Uh, potentially, we will at some point around here. Uh, not going to be able... Uh, maybe... Uh, no, well, I was going to try... <laughs> I was going to try and go underneath on the exit, but uh, it didn't... Erratic did not carry any speed through there, and we all got stacked up. Because the car guy was trying to follow me, and we all just ended up really stacked up on the inside. And Pega is ahead in fifth. I think this is as far as we go forward, unless there are shenanigans afoot. I just, I, this is really not the car for me. <laughs> in terms of driving characteristics. Uh, it could be, I maybe expected it to be a tiny bit worse. Uh, there are ways to keep it under control, but, uh, oh god, yeah, it doesn't take much for it to get very un unhappy. It gets very upset with you if uh, you do not get it absolutely spot on, which we are not, we are absolutely not doing uh, around here. God, I just went to change direction. Uh, can't gather it back up in time. Oh. I mean, we stopped it from spinning, which is good. <laughs> it's about the only good thing that came from that, is I somehow didn't spin the damn car. Uh, we lost a whole heap of places. I think the real trick with this one is going to be sort of slow into a corner, fast on the exit, because just the, the on power, the twitching, if you get it wrong, is so, so sketchy. Car guy's got a good run. May fancy a dive down at turn one. That's why I'm kind of covering a little bit here. Uh, was not able to. I mean, we'll lose a little bit of lap time doing that. Although I don't think we can. We can't really go that far forward because well, vehicles ahead are having a fight. So we don't think we really, really lose all that much. Uh, now through here. Oh. God, there's another. I mean, that's where I got crossed up last lap around. Oh, no, oh, behave, behave, caterum. Uh, can I follow car guy on this wide line? Just about kept two wheels on the circuit. Uh, oh, there's a little 
little earlier on the brakes than I was expecting because they actually did have they did didn't realise Cargill was going to be clear to actually get back across the track uh, to the inside. God, there's a lot of understeer. There's a lot more understeer in this car than you expect. Uh, <laughs> it really it really does have a lot of understeer, followed by crazy twitchy on power oversteer essentially. Uh, I'm going to guess. Well, actually, to be fair, we have been driving cars on slicks the entire stream. Oh, and I got it upset on the curb there, uh, which is frustrating. And now we're all out of position the whole way through here. Oh, God, the next curb got me as well. Uh, Gliska has got to the front of the race. I think Gliska and Brazen are enjoying quite the lead. If you, if you can figure out how to drive the car and you like the way the car drives, you can probably go very quickly. This is literally... This is pretty much, I would say, the worst, the worst car I could have in terms of handling characteristics. I can't, I can't think of one that would be much worse. <laughs> like I don't, don't know how you could make it worse for me. Um, I've spoken before. I, I really don't mind understeering cars, but the trade-off for that, the reason for that, is I like to be able to put the power down and have the back end stay planted. That's the reason you know, normally to have that you have an understeery car. Uh, but this has all the understeer in the world and then no security when you try and use the throttle. <laughs> it's, just, it's just the worst of both worlds for me. Uh, if we could figure out, whoa, god and then it wants to do that as well that's never fun. Uh, now if we can be patient enough with the car, there's, you know, there's lap time to be found. Uh, we've only got one more lap to go. The final corner, very hit and miss for me. Sometimes we get it really well, and then other times, like that lap there, actually quite a good lap. Uh, and then other times it's out wide, we're struggling to turn in, and all of that horrible, fun stuff. Uh, do I want third through here? I mean, through the first part, yes. Don't think I want third, though. Through here, uh, come on, we can we can get a top ten. Uh, okay, now over the curb we go. Just wait, a, just wait a little bit longer to jump on the throttle, which is what we did, and then we got on the power quite nicely. We're maybe a little, a little tight on the way in, but that's going to help us with the exit because we have got the momentum. Erratic wire and a little bit wide through there, which is all the opportunity I need to move my car up a position. Now, don't run wide through the final corner. Uh, we a little little kick of oversteer. We, I say we semi-figured it out by the very final lap of the race. Ugh. It's as hard to drive as I sort of expected it to be. Yeah, actually, we had some real speed at the end. That 55.6 I got at the end was amongst some of the fastest laps. Brazen was a little quicker than us. I mean, Brazen's Brazen the only one that got a faster lap than us. It just took me the entire race to get to that point. Uh, uh, yeah, so the, the very final lap of the race, I finally figured out how to drive the car, and the only car that lapped quicker than me was Brazen uh, in that, which I will take, uh, but that is a very difficult car to drive. Ninetales climbed all the way up into a fifth place. Fair play to Ninetales. Uh, yeah, that's a very tough car to drive. Uh, uh, as I said, it, it is it is just the complete opposite to how I would ever want a car. Um, I, I, I like I like a car that you can can basically boot it and out of a corner and it's fine. Uh, <laughs> and that one is just the complete opposite. But uh, there we go. Well, Angleska for claiming victory in that one. Uh, it, yeah, because that, those are not easy to drive whatsoever. Uh, right, we move on. Now, our next race is going to... I'm going to leave it up to the party to decide what cars. We're going to race around the Laguna Outer Circuit. Uh, so the, the, the outer loop, the alternate layout for Laguna. That is where we are going to race. But... What we race, I'm going to leave up to well, Speed Beast slash whatever the party decide to tell Speed Beast to run. Um, we, I mean, we're going to stick with a one-make... I guess we could do a one-make race or we could do like a, 
a class race C, B, or A class, something like that. Um, stick with one make race if it's going to be like a, a race car, just because the balancing of, of the multi just doesn't exist, essentially. Um, so, yeah, we will... I will leave it up to... Uh, whether that's a good idea or not, I don't know. Um, I guess we will... We're considering the layout considering the layout we're the track we're going to probably a good idea to uh, not go for something too crazy fast this is the circuit what is the car that is the the conundrum oh you and his back uh, okay I think it's still currently set to a caterum we shall, yeah. We'll, you know what? We'll we'll let the party decide. We'll we'll let the party decide. Uh, we're definitely not going to drive. Uh, I mean, we don't actually have the GT1 race cars. We have the road versions. They're probably a bit fast for this. They're probably a bit fast for this layout without the grip. But they're maybe not the worst thing in the world. Um, you know, what? it's nice not being the host. I don't have to do anything. I just, they can just make the. I say they can make the decisions. Uh, <laughs> um. That's always the, the let's say the, the scary, the scary prospect in all of this. Uh, I mean, I suppose I often end up leaving it up to donators as well to decide <laughs> what to, uh, what we end up racing. So it's not that much different. Uh, not that much different. Leaving it up to the sort of filming party to to determine. Um, I mean. Uh, uh, Sean saying drive, drive on bald tyres. You can kind of do it. You can kind of. Are we go for a BRZ race? Okay, I'm up for that. Sure, why not? That's going to be an interesting... Uh, an interesting one. I presume it was the new BRZ. Uh, oh, I already owned one. Never mind, I now own two. <laughs> I'm a moron. Uh... <laughs> Okay, one make race with BRZs. They are likely to be pretty good cars, I would expect. But they are they are very, very fast when built. Uh, we are of course not. Didn't want to press that button. <laughs> Don't risk breaking things. I'm not sure it's percent fuel. Um, yeah, the the car is is going to be quick. Modded like A class ones. Are stupid. I don't know about A class actually, like C and B class, they're very, very fast. I can't repaint it in the lobby. Nothing I can do. If I could, I'd probably, I'd probably break the game. But uh, yeah, there is nothing I can do about painting it when you are in a lobby. It is a shame, but that is the way that it works. Uh, in this is when you're in the lobby, you cannot do any of that fun stuff. Um, that's, yeah. <laughs> That's 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 that. And honestly, if you could, what would happen is we would go to paint the car, and then the game would probably crash. <laughs> like it's it's sadly just what is likely to happen. Um, at the moment, if you go into the tune car screen, there's a good chance you're going to break the game. So, <laughs> let alone in a paint car menu where there's probably more to it. I don't know how it's broken. Don't ask. I have. No clue uh, how they managed to break that one. At least, I mean, I've only had one crash this evening, which is, I mean, I say something. It's it's not it's not the worst, but we have had a lot of crashes along the way. I don't know. Uh, we got twenty in here. We definitely aren't going to. Oh, and Dana Tain's gone. I think that was one who has just gone. Yeah, it's definitely... We're not going to get a full lobby, because there's always going to be at least one or two crashes. And Rusky definitely cannot stay connected to this. Rusky is in and out like a bloody yo-yo. And... It's, it's just a forza. <laughs> it's just... It's, what, what, else, what else can you say? Uh, we're going to see whether my terrible... Terrible starting grid luck continues. Uh, although the plus point, uh, yeah, you, everyone ready up, 
please. No one can see because we've got the weird loading spinny circle of doom. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Speed Beast, I believe it's still Speed Beast who is the host, will know when everyone is readied up because it does at least tell them in the top right corner. But, uh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and Night House has crashed. Ah, <laughs> uh, Forza. <laughs> <laughs> we will, we will, we will say the catchphrase again. That, that just about sums up everything. We, oh, uh, Nine Tails is back. Nine Tails got reconnected. Nice and cool. Maybe Nine Tails went off to paint the car. Who knows? That was a very quick, very quick rejoin. If it was a game crash. Uh, as I was saying before, I got distracted. Yes, yeah, starting. The, the advantage of starting at the back is you generally get a lot of position gained. Uh, there's nothing worse than sort of starting first or second and then ending up eighth as you just slowly work your way back. <laughs> if you start 20th and end up 10th, you feel like you've had progress, even if that's technically uh, not as good a fi finish position as sort of starting second and ending up eighth. Uh, yeah, you kind of, it, you're more likely to have that, that feel-good race because you've overtaken cars and you've hopefully gone forward. It doesn't always work like that, but that is the, that is the dream. Uh, we are still... I mean, we uh, we can, I like how we can see who's ready up. We can see who's ready up, who's joined down here. Uh, we're just going to get Rusky into the. Okay, it's going to be a sea of white Subarus. Uh, some people may have painted ones. Some some may have liveries. They're probably quite common sort of choice of vehicle. Excuse me. While you were one PI, you, you <laughs> don't think it's going to make much difference. However, there's one sneaky bugger. I was just flicking down here and I noticed I noticed like a little bit of movement on the um uh menu screen bit because it changed from eight to nine. God oh dear. Right, we are off we are underway. Fantastic stuff. Let's go racing. Should be a good one mate race is normally pretty good fun, so it should be a, a hopefully close, a hopefully exciting battle. Who knows? Where are we on the grid? Place your bets. It's either gonna be like first or last. That seems to be. That seems to be the way it goes. Or we'll crash. Don't know. Let's wait for this stuff. This. this oh. Oh. <laughs> We're not at the back. We're quite a long way back. 18th on the grid. Oh, well maybe I am running manual and clutch. That did not want to go up a gear. Maybe I did turn it back on. Definitely sort of missed a shift going. Uh, oh dear. It's very busy. Through here. Uh, <laughs> it's like, it really is a case of, hey Gliska, I don't think I've seen you for like the last two hours. I don't know if I've actually raced Gliska at any point. With, between the disconnects and just being in different parts of the circuit. I don't think I've really seen Gliska much today. Uh, don't know if I want third. And this would probably like to have kept that. There was a little bit of a bump. Nothing major, major through there. Whoa. There was some early breaking into the corkscrew, and we're going to get a little bit sort of screwed on the inside. That's fine. Oh, God, Forza collisions. We got stuck together. Okay, now I've seen a bit too much of Gliska. Uh, <laughs> right. Outside up here. May work. No. Did not work. Car wandered a little bit more than I was expecting. Or Brazen's behind. Nine Tails is behind. We are almost going to be three wide into the final corner. Brazen's going to duck underneath and get all of us. Only downside with Brazen's line is May struggle for momentum on the exit, which they did. Okay. We are up into 13th place. Could have been a better start. Could have been a lot worse one. Uh, we are not going to go side by side with somebody through here uh, we could have been faster uh, oh god there is a slow moving car there Nine Tails is making the most of their overspeed but he just ran into a wall there was a wall of a wall of BRZ there there was just nowhere to go uh, well, I'm actually wanting to be a little bit quicker through these corners than, than Gliska and unfortunately just Kill all the momentum on the exit. Nine Tails is having a look. 
not quite going to be able to find a way past there. Oh, I, well, I did not quite get the turning point for, like, so you kind of, you kind of, as you go around the court screen, you kind of just aim for the exit, and sometimes you get it a little bit wrong. Uh, I got it a little bit wrong, basically got it a lot bit wrong. Uh, we've got a very good run heading up towards this final corner. The only issue is we're on such a tight line. Really difficult to stop. This is going to cut back underneath, and Nine Tails may well get us as well. Uh, it was one of those. It's actually you can actually see the difference manual and clutch is having. For me, you can see how I'm. I had a bad run out that final corner. Yet I'm pulling. I'm presuming Glisker isn't running manual and clutch, so you can see where the advantage comes from uh, with it. It's just he's more fiddly. Whoa. And if we were running actual simulation damage, it'd be very easy for me to destroy my gearbox if I get manual and clutch bits wrong. In cars like these, it really, there really is an advantage to running it. Um, oh god, uh, we're not going to get that one quite right. Oh, Gliska's out wide. I was not quite prepared for Gliska going out wide. <laughs> I was on the edge of, I was on the limit of the of the track. Gliska got a little bit more trouble. Uh, we are on the wrong side of Nine Tails, uh, but I was I wanted to try and duck underneath Nine Tails, but Gliska arrived there. I couldn't quite do it. We may be able to repass, and we do, down there. That will put me up into a tenth place. Now, can we stop fighting each other long enough to go chase down a Ewan? Maybe, because they have all sort of tripped over one another back there. Car guy leads the way, has actually got a little bit of a calm lead. It's quite a nice lead they are enjoying up at the front there. Uh, it's, let's say, when, when you get on your own, you can, <laughs> you can have a nice, enjoyable time. Uh, I say, you know, you, you're essentially just hot mapping at that point. We have had a fun race, though, back here. I would rather be in the fight for 10th than have cars to be racing against than just cruising around on my own sometimes. Uh, right, this corner here I love. It's fantastic on this shortened layout. You can just chuck the vehicle through. It's flat out. It's awesome. Uh, with, I mean, with just about everything I've driven around there. Oh, did not get the downshifts right with the manual and clutch, mind you. But, uh, yeah, it's a bit, bit scruffy through there. A couple of laps to go. We may be able to just catch up to the back of this group. Ewan's run a little wide on the way into the corkscrew there. Uh, we were a lot more committed on the way down. Didn't cut the corner. We were just a lot more committed on that section. Uh, didn't really need to change gear through there. Come on, we got... I mean, we might have a chance to pass Ewan. Uh, one thing I don't want to do is catch Ewan and then get stuck and then have Nine Tails and Gliska and Brazen all appear again. Uh, <laughs> you know, we've, we've just got ourselves clear of that scary group. And now we are going to probably find ourselves... In, I say busy by the end of the race, but never mind. We're all quick through turn one. Uh, we are going even faster this lap than last time. Now, be neat and tidy through this next corner. I really like the BRZ. I mean, I, sh I shouldn't be surprised that it's a great car to drive. I do actually really like the way that this is my sort of car. The Caterham, not my sort of car. This thing, wonderful. Uh, this thing, really lovely car to drive. Thoroughly impressed. Uh, I said I have got one. I think I probably did one of the sort of single-player career mode races with it. Um, probably barely used it. Uh, this really, really nice to drive. Uh, <laughs> Rusky's out a little bit wide. May well lose out to a Ewan through there. May well lose out to a me into the final corner. If I'm brave enough, not quite. Uh, not quite going to be able to get there. Rusky, ah, you see, I wanted to kind of take the line Rusky did. We got a little bit boxed in there. We've got, we have got a good exit. You can see the manual and clutch working for me. There's no reason why that should have been, I should have been that much faster than Rusky uh, down there. Uh, so yeah, that is the manual and clutch at slight advantage uh, going on. I, I think, I, otherwise I don't know why I would have been that much quicker down that section. Oh, someone's off. Is that Danger Man? I'm not actually sure who is ahead of me uh, in this little in this little group. Uh, don't know if I wanted fourth. Maybe wanted third through there, although we can still carry great, great speed. It is Danger Man 
who had a little bit of an adventure. Uh, Ewan is going to cover the inside up here. Not, not to worry, we will just go around the outside of that one. <laughs> I will say thank you very much indeed. Uh, we are to the inside of A Man of Danger. But it's the long way around the next corner. Uh, not quite going to work. Ewan is going to fight back. Not quite close enough to have a dive, unfortunately. Oh, sorry, Ewan. We got. Uh, sorry, Ewan. We got a little bit stuck. Couldn't get the car pulled apart from Ewan. Hopefully, Ewan is going to at least keep Rusky behind. Yeah, Danger Man was busy fighting and uh, didn't quite didn't quite make the most of that. I really like that car. Yeah, our lap time was, as I hoped, pretty good. We were up with Grumples, Longbow, Car Guy. Ninetales really struggled with that car, which seems weird. Normally Ninetales is insanely fast. Brazen was insanely fast, may have disconnected. Uh, <laughs> as you say, Brazen was... You, we expect Brazen to be very fast, but I'm going to guess something went on, or maybe had to go briefly, or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, good, good race, enjoyed that one. Enjoyed that one a lot. Just ran out of time <laughs> ran out of time moving forward to uh, uh to get past stage radio apologies to you and did not quite get the final quarter right and once the cars made that little light bit of contact i just couldn't pull them apart anymore uh but yeah from a long way i can see why this thing is so stupidly op in lower classes on the game it, it, it makes sense it's a lovely car to drive uh <laughs> um Absolutely lovely car to drive, and I can see why it ends up being so unbelievably OP in the game. <laughs> uh, but there, there we have it. Yeah, nice, very nice car. Um, ah, Brazen had controller issues. <laughs> that would do it. <laughs> that would, that would do it. That would, that 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 would, unfortunately, make sense uh, how Brazen ended up so far back. Um, right. Now, the next race, I'm not sure quite what car I want to use. We're going to do, so we're going to do Road America, uh, probably going to go for like three laps um, for Road America. And we're going to go, we're going to go with the classic American car. I'm just having a think. What classic American car would I like to use? Um... What do we have in the way of what are some of the faster classic? I'm just thinking what's going to be the nicest to drive. <laughs> I'm not a, uh, I'm not very good at Road America. It's probably the best way to sum it up. Um, in you ah oh, Coronet, that's the one. That's what we want. Yes, let's go and race a field of Coronet Super Bees. This is the way to go. Coronet Super B, let's get a field of them. They're going to maybe run out of gears down a couple of the straights. Um, yeah, I do like do like the Super B. Lovely car to drive. Well, you know, it was a lovely car to drive in Horizon. <laughs> Wither is going to be a lovely car to drive in this game, where the older cars are much, much more difficult much more difficult to drive is a very good question. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, probably going to be difficult to drive, but they are they are wonderful cars. Uh, I mean, so yeah, like a Ryzen... I mean, it kind of works a bit in this game. Big tyres uh, are still a useful thing, and of course the muscle cars do get very big tyres. Uh, but these are tougher to make into competitive cars in, in the lower classes. So when well, I say in the lower classes, like say I want to make a build, build a B-class car, my Monaro does sort of work, but it was a bit of a faff getting that one to work. Um, this is, of course, much bigger and much heavier, much more cumbersome. I haven't tried building one of these really. Uh, I'm sure I will at some point for some versus community or for some challenges or whatever. Um, we shall see. We shall see how it all pans out. I mean, hopefully we can have a good race. Um, hopefully we will We will have a good race. Yeah, the manual and clutch will be a bit helpful. 
I see. I can deal with manual and clutch in these cars. We were testing something the other day, and I ended up driving an Ultima, and I just couldn't do them. Actually, I'm gonna just check. Have I actually? Well, I, I am legit running manual and clutch. Okay, that wasn't me talking bollocks. Uh, there's. In all other Forza games, it's just gone to that and just stuck at that. Um, this is the first one where it's become... Well, first one for a while. I mean, I remember back in Motorsport 4, it was a big thing to be able to run it. Um, but that was more for me learning it rather than... You know, after I learned it in Motorsport 4, it was fine. Uh, this is the first one that's got a real big change to the way it works. Or um, kind of a change to the way it works. I think there are workarounds that I've not really learned yet. Which I probably should, because uh, yeah, I, I, I might be, I might be doing this differently to others who are who are running manual and clutch. Um, so I'll say what I'm doing. The upshifts aren't too bad. You've just got to hold. So I use A for clutch, X for gear up, B for gear down. Uh, now, the the shift ups aren't a huge amount different, right? You just have to hold A for a little bit longer. The shift, the downshifts are the real for me, the the real difficult part, um, because you have to hold the clutch for long enough, uh, basically, so that it doesn't have problems. Now, when I'm braking, I know this isn't the, technically the most efficient way of doing it, uh, but when I'm braking, I just hold clutch the whole way down. So if I'm in a braking zone, I would be on the brake and I just hold the clutch down, downshift, blip the throttle. Uh, as I'm downshifting, and then release the clutch when I'm done with the gears. Now, technically, I will miss out on a tiny little bit of engine braking, but my game can't... Sorry, my brain cannot figure out how long to leave the clutch in to sort of release in between downshift. It just can't... I can't do it. I've tried, and any lap time I gain from engine braking, I lose because my brain just doesn't work. <laughs> It doesn't work well enough to do that. Uh, I, I automatically do the blipping of the throttle. I've done it in Forza games for many, many years. Although it actually doesn't really... It probably doesn't really matter too much if I'm just holding the clutch the whole way down the gearbox. But, uh, yeah. That's that's how I have adjusted to doing the downshifts. I don't think it's the best way of doing it, but it, it, at the end of the day, it works. Like, it, <laughs> it works well enough. <laughs> it's uh, Yeah, I think we've got everyone... In hopefully, yeah, we're off. Um, yeah, it's it it does the job in a car like this. I have enough time to do it. When when you start driving the Ultima, um, like a car that fast, I just cannot. I can't react quick enough. I can't do everything at once. Um, yeah, it's, I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. Um, We'll, we'll get there, and I mean, in in, I mean, in reality, there are ways you can get around, like rev matching and so on. You can actually kind of get around around stuff with a clutch. Ah, uh, look at the beautiful purple grid of cars. We've got a nice spot on the grid, which means I'm sure to throw this one away. Uh, that's yeah, always, always asking for trouble. Uh, we're off the line quite nicely. We are on. We're on the inside heading towards turn one here. Don't know where to break. Earlier than that would have been good. Uh, Impega's the unfortunate victim. Yeah, no idea at all where to break through all that. Oh, Impega narrowly, narrowly got away with that. I've run in very deep into that corner. That is, yeah, breaking way too late. Of course, 60s brakes, funnily enough, not great. Can confirm. Have driven a well, my fury. It won't when it's finished. Have driven the fury with 60s brakes. You go on the you go on the brake pedal, and maybe start slowing down about now. It, it's really yeah. They are very very different. Oh, hello, Danger Man. Nine Tails went exploring. I was a little late on the brakes. How on earth was that my fault? How on earth did I get a warning for that? <laughs> like, that's why I don't... Because if... Uh, I mean, you can sometimes get a warning, uh, even when penalties are on, but that's why I have the penalties turned off, because I got a warning for Danger Man completely missing the breaking point down there. Pega's going to have a look to the inside of Car Guy there, and may well recover. I mean, 
Pegg done very well to recover from a less than ideal start. Gliska with a bit of understeer. I'm trying to just be patient and wait and wait and wait and wait and now I can get on the throttle, I think. Should have the grip to make it off of the corner there. Oh god, and Pegg is behind us. That's always a scary sight. Don't know how fast we can get through here. Uh, I was really just using Gliska as a guide. I used Gliska as a guide and Pegga used me, or Pegga was just faster than me. So we've all gone a little bit quicker through there, but where the hell do you break down here? Uh, I'm guessing about here. Oh, uh, yeah, that was about right. I, so I wasn't actually trying to go for an overtake on Gliska. The reason I pulled all the way to the inside, it wasn't even to defend from Impega. It was entirely because I didn't know where the breaking point was, and if I missed it, I was hoping I would be able to avoid just careering into the back of Gliska's car. That sun is horrible. Uh, oh. Pega is going to get past it. Pega's just better with this car than I am, which is fair enough. Uh, however... Can we? I mean, we've got the slipstream now from Gliska. Uh, not quite well enough. Uh, but we've now got the hell of a slipstream off of... I don't know whether that's a slipstream. I'm not going to go for that. You know what? If you want to go for it in Pega, be my guest. I don't know where to break down here. I'm just playing it safe. None of us are really sure by the looks of it. I went down one too many gears and made a meal of that corner. That's fine. Uh, God, that sun. I mean, it's... Like, the lighting is very cool that you can have all of these sort of different conditions. Uh, however, we do you do get... You do get it in real life, of course. Certainly in endurance racing. You do get some very horrible conditions to be driving in. This is one such horrible condition. We are now on the outside of Impega. We are fighting back. We've had a good lap so far. Start of this lap. Impega got caught up with Gliska. Gliska will, I presume, move across to defend. Uh, no one is 100% sure where to break down here. Uh, I was a little too cautious. Longbow was less cautious. I mean, I also got a wheel on the curb. Uh, uh, that is unfortunate for me. I mean, we haven't completely fallen all the way back. We will now. Oh, come on. Come on. Uh, yeah, a little frustrated. About that one. Like I just I played it just a little bit safe because I didn't know where, and of course we get punished for others uh, not playing it a little bit safe. Uh, Brazen's not gonna go around the outside there. That's uh, in identical cars, in identical cars like these around the outside on that corner is dicey. Uh, come on. God, you just gotta wait so long to get on the throttle down here. And there we go. Now we now we finally can. Do we play the game of how fast? I mean, we are playing the game of how fast dare you go through here. You just oh no, curbed. Oh god damn it. Oh, I'm sorry, Brazen. I was just hanging on for dear life. Okay, so you hit the curb on the inside, and we had our race messed up, and now we've messed up Brazen's. Uh, you hit the curb on the inside there, and it just fires you wide. I wasn't expecting it to do that. Uh, it really, yeah, that really fires you wide on that one. Uh, has the sun moved? I don't know. It depends on what... I don't think we've got, like, particularly high uh, speed for, like, the time of day changes. Uh, and Peg is doing some grass track racing again. I'm sure Brazen will catch and pass us by the end of the end of the race. Uh, car guy, I think Car Guy said they weren't the manual and clutch. There's less gear shifts with this car, so it's perhaps a little bit less noticeable in some places. The more gear shifts you have, probably, the more noticeable the manual and clutch difference will be. Uh, most of this is probably just slipstream related now. Right, third gear is what I want. We'll get it slowed, get it turned into the corner. Uh, well, yeah, okay, we have to kind of catch it a little bit. It got a bit wibbly and wobbly uh, through there. Uh, Peg has not had a great start to this lap. Uh, I don't think. I think it, I thought it was further away. We've still got a fair bunch of cars going on. We have got a good run down here on Car Guy. Brazen has a good run on us, though. That's the difficult part. Uh, oh, there you go. There you see the shift, I think, pretty much. We're suddenly, suddenly pulled on the car ahead. Uh, I think I'm still braking a bit early down here. Yeah, I am still too early on the brakes. Uh, I mean, we're going to make it... We're going to get it stopped. I mean, we... 
we were early on the brakes, but we're still fairly fast off the corner, although mostly because we could hold Brazen out very wide down there. Uh, not finding a way past yet. Oh, everybody's gone wide. Thank you. I did that last lap around. I will take that one. Oh, carefully does it through there. Oh, Brazen's out wide through the next corner. Uh, <laughs> it's a really easy corner to go adventuring around. Still too late on the brakes. You, you really do have to be very early on the brakes with this car. And it makes sense at the end of the day. Uh, you cannot get away with some of the braking points where well, that you might think you can, that you might want to be able to get away with. Right, Brazen, I'm going to try and not murder you this time around. I promise. Uh, uh, nope, turned in too soon. Got on the curb. Done exactly the same thing. This time we kept it out of the wall. Uh, oh, Brazen's also had a big issue through there. God, that curb is nasty in this car. Wasn't expecting, like, curb issues in a low-slung race car or something, sure. Really wasn't expecting the curb issues that, uh, that I'm seeing with this. That were, I mean, I knew the curb there could be a problem, and yet I still did exactly the same thing. I don't know, the sun is, is I think, rising a little bit. It, the, the lighting's really cool. The lighting is really cool. Like, well, I will give Forza crap for a lot of things it does. Like the lighting and so on can be really very, very effective when it all comes together. Looks like we might sneak on the podium though here. For, uh, <laughs> for a track that I am traditionally not very good at. Actually, did not have a bad race. Uh, Brazen is across the line. I think, I don't know whether Brazen was trying to go for a flip and a roll. Um, but, uh, yeah, we weren't too bad in terms of pace around that one, pleasantly. Grim was fast as well, 44.6, uh, but stuck down in traffic, uh, which does happen. I am gradually, and it's a very, very slow, but very, very gradually starting to like Road America. I'm sure there will be some people out there that will be very glad to hear that. Um... It has taken me a long time to start liking Road America, but I am starting to. Uh, <laughs> starting to ever so slightly like Road America. Um, I'll get there eventually. God, you can... <laughs> I mean, yeah, car guys say... It, uh, with a car like that, if you're not running manual and clutch, it hurts. It really does hurt. Um, even though... Uh, no, we finally get on the podium here. Even though it's maybe not as many gear shifts as the likes of the BRZ, it, it, it is... Um, yeah, it, it is, I say it's a little bit painful. Um, I, say, I say it is what it is. I have, I have also, as I said, gradually started getting better with this whole new manual and clutch system. Uh, back on 65, thank you very much for the uh, super chat. Saying in, in private race, uh, you in, in private race you can change 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 the rules uh, type you can put in tire wear you can put in tire wear you're absolutely right however what you can't do is speed up the tire wear so you are absolutely correct you can we have it on fuel and tire wear down here uh, but you can't have it accelerated like it does in featured multiplayer so for example running soft tires with the default settings means the soft tires will last about 45 minutes which when we're doing shorter races means there's no strategy involved it's a shame i really hope the accelerated settings are allowed like gran turismo has the settings you know what for our final race i'm going to leave it up this is a dangerous thing i'm going to leave it up to um the party speed beast and the party in in tandem to decide what we are going to drive uh <laughs> This might be dangerous. It might be dangerous, but I am going to to leave it to them to decide on what we what we go and run. Uh, there are there are no super soft tires or anything uh, in in the game. Terry was asking. No, you've got soft, medium, hards, and wet. Those are your those are your tires. The wets are admittedly a bit more of an intermediate tire than a f sort of like Formula One wet, but. Uh, yeah, um, those those are the compound. The compound that that I don't have a problem with. Like you know, that, that's decent enough. Um, 
it is just a shame that um, pit crew are having fun. Uh, <laughs> they're just doing they're just doing their doing their thing. Um, yeah, like the compounds that all works well enough, but yes, it, it, I hope I hope that'll be something that is added um, because it would add a lot to the game. I think. Oh, it looks like it's raining wherever we're loading. What are we doing? Okay. Kyle Army, like the track. Again, it's another new track that I'm not very familiar with. Oh, I bet I know what they've done. I bet this is Drizzle, where you, you can run slicks, but it's a bit dicey. I bet that that looks like it might work in slicks. Um, yeah, it is Drizzle. Okay, so this will... You will get away with slicks. I don't know what vehicles they were hoping to run. Oh, we're going touring cars. Okay, you're going BTCC. Fantastic. I don't know what I want to drive. Uh, I'm up for some BTCC racing. Uh, don't really want... Well, I say don't really want the Lavorg. I mean, I love the Lavorg, but... Uh, so the Volkswagen is not a BTCC car. Doesn't count. It's Focus, Astra, or Lavorg. I think. I don't know if there's any others. Where's the... Where's the Lavorg gone? I'm bothered there is because it's orange. <laughs> yeah, I was looking for, I was looking for the like a fit, the proper livery. Uh, there's a one. Look at the stats; they're going to be identical. Ooh. Do I want an Astra or do I want a Focus? Uh, let's go run the Astra. Screw it. Oh, Eddie, thank you very much indeed. A big will alert to you. Uh, incredible! Another incredibly generous donation. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Oh, Speed Beast has disconnected. Uh, yeah, Eddie, thank you very much for. Oh, Mercedes! I forgot about the Mercedes. I do apologise. Um, yes, Eddie, thank you. Thank you very much for a hundred pound donation. Um, uh, saying, look, look forward to more. Oh, I've crashed. <laughs> God's sake! Uh, I was trying to read a donation forza and you've broken. Uh, anyway, so look, look forward to more beam stuff with a new PC. Absolutely, yes. Uh, there's there's a reason why there hasn't been much beam stuff. Is my computer is just struggling. Um, no, my computer is is struggling with beam. Basically, the stuff we want to do on beam multiplayer now is starting getting so fancy and and complex that. Uh, just well, not, not even fancy complex. We've got a lot of people, and you know, a lot of the game modes work better with big groups. And just PC just can't stand it. Um, and while it's, it's, I say it's okay. It's not ideal for for you know like the filming crew and whatnot. If their PCs are lagging a bit, it's a much bigger problem for me when I'm the one kind of filming it. So, um, but anyway, yes, that, that's why there hasn't been any beam for a little while. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much, Eddie. Uh, it is very, very much appreciated. I don't know if Alex is still hanging around from earlier, who also uh, did an incredibly generous donation. Thank you very much. Uh, I mean, all, I say, any, any, any donations are always much, much appreciated. Um, but yeah, some incredibly generous folks out there. Uh, so I do thank you very much indeed. Um, right. Let's go. I don't think I've actually driven the Mercedes. That's why I completely forgot about it when you <laughs> mentioned it. I don't even have the Merc in the garage. Uh, we're going to stick with the Astra. Uh, let's go and grab that one. Okay, so the game has put me on wet. Oh, pff. Oh, no. I think, I think we might be done for the day at this rate. <laughs> uh. Come on. I just want to go race some touring cars at Kyle Army. That's all I want to do. Just come on, Forza. Let's let's make. <laughs> we've had quite a fun stream. Like we've had some legit, really good racing. Um, we've had some really, really good fun battles in in various different cars. And yeah, now it's just decided to pack it in. Uh, it's not the it's, it's not the weather settings because we've run races in the rain earlier or we, we, we have been running races in the rain fine before uh, I don't know why it's decided to go silly now uh, okay I've still got an invite from Impega let's hope this one works uh, <sighs> right we will try again see the game is now wanting me to go on wet. That is slightly concerning me. Now, I know in Drizzle you can get away with slicks. I've done it in GT cars. 
the game though normally recommends slicks. The fact that it's not recommending slicks is slightly alarming me. But now oh, speed beast is gone as well. Oh, this is the this is a conundrum. This is a conundrum. What do you do? Do we gamble it? Now, I don't know what the drizzle is like at uh, Kyle Army. Oh, no, okay, never mind, actually. I take it back. It's, it's not drizzle anymore. It's moderate rain. So this is definitely not a slick tyre anymore. Uh, it has since been changed. It has been since been changed. Never mind. Wow, we've had a real lobby break completely here, haven't we? Um... Awesome stuff. So, yeah, the vehicles are available for this. The Astra, the Focus, the Lavorg, and the Mercedes. Uh, those are the BTCC cars. Uh, the Civic is not a... Sadly, it is no longer a... Actually, well, there is a Civic, but it's not the one in the game. <laughs> the one we've got in Forza is a TCR car that is slightly different specs to the British Touring car. There are still a couple of Civics in the British Touring Car. Uh, I don't know whether Team Dynamics are ever coming back. I thought they were already sitting a year out, but who knows? Maybe we'll see the Dynamics Hondas back. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> uh, okay, try turning the rain off. Whoever has ended up as lobby host, I genuinely don't know who's left. Uh, let's just put it back to sun. As much as I want to do a wet race, uh, put it back to sun. And see if that can just can just get us just get us past the finish line here. <laughs> oh it makes me worry about Monday when we film versus the community. <laughs> oh, it makes me many worried about Monday. It was holding up quite well, but we've just gone to Kyle Army and it's absolutely crapped the bed. Uh <laughs> That's how I didn't think I was in a menu. Oh, dear. Right, yeah, whoever's host, if you can put it to dry, maybe, this is a big maybe, we can get through one final race. Uh, Longbox is still connected, so that's something, at least. God, this is just lobby roulette at this point. A lobby roulette that we're all losing. <laughs> Oh, this has gone back to that broken... I mean, at least it's broken right at the end of the stream and not broken immediately like it did last week, but... Uh. Okay, it's dry. It's a dry Kyle army. We did have... We have had issues with the game in the dry still. It's still likely to crash. It's not likely to make much difference, but maybe it's just enough of a difference for, <laughs> for Forza to let us... Let us make this work. Uh, right, Astra. We'll eventually... We'll eventually get there. Uh, wow, there's literally nine of us left. Oh, Forza. Oh, Forza. The uh, the whole built from the ground up meme is going to be the next bloody... Like, Bethesda joke. <laughs> oh, it just works, doesn't it? We'll run 25% fuel. That'll be enough to make it to the finish line. If the game crashes again, that will that we will call it. I'm hoping it doesn't. I haven't really driven the touring cars much. Um, well, no, I've driven I've driven a lot of the TCR cars. I haven't driven much of the BTCC cars, is what I should say. Uh, which I admit is weird for someone who loves well, like the BTCC, uh, and very doesn't re uh, very rarely seen the TCR cars. Uh, I haven't really been watching the world touring car. The world touring cars are now all TCRs, aren't they? I think. I haven't seen that for ages. Oh, there's so much motorsport, I can't keep up with all of it. <laughs> I still haven't got around to watching Bathurst. Uh, <laughs> miles behind on the NASCAR season and all of that. I ended up only watched halfway through the IndyCar season before I lost track of it. Uh, it's not because they're not good either. That's the, I say that's the, that's the thing. The great series, I just haven't had time trying to keep up with everything. Um, there is so much in the way of motorsport uh, going on that... Uh, yeah, it has been, uh, I say, difficult. Yeah, that's probably probably the best way to to sum it up. 
Right, we will try and get everybody back in. Um, yeah, I think we got. Try and get the party back in. Uh, if you may, if you message you and you might be lucky, we might we, you might get an invite into this one. <laughs> we'll try and get you in. We'll try and get you into the session. It does seem to work better without rain. I've definitely had the game be completely useless during um, dry races. We've had these crashing issues before, but it does seem to be um, better without the without the weather effects, which is a real shame because the the, the weather is great fun, um, especially in the. Variable. What? Oh, are we just going? Maybe we just gave up with. I was farting about, <laughs> not paying attention. I was reading chat. Didn't notice the. I presume the countdown started, and we're not just crashing in a different way. Well, we've got something. We've got a group of cars together. I don't know who was the host in the end of all of this. We've got enough cars. Everyone was readied. It's time for a race with some touring cars. Ah, let's start on pole. Well, I'm sure we're going to find a way to... Oh, no, not quite on pole. Uh, I like I like the livery on Longbow's car. Immediately, Scale Electric's livery always, always going to be good in my, in my mind. Um, I'm going to guess that's brazen in the yellow, in the many colours of Astra, was it, I think? I thought that was a little bit close cutting across there, but... Uh, we needed to make it, and I mean that is the more normal racing line. But yeah, we did have to, we did have to kind of cut across. I also don't know quite how the Lavorg, despite being what was a very good car, is so far down in PI. I don't know whether it's to do with it being rear-wheel drive or what it is. Why the Lavorg is so far down in terms of, in terms of PI in this game, but it is. I'm actually surprised. I. Oh. Got the thing on soft tyres and all the crashing. I, I fully expect somebody's not going to be on soft tyres because of all the crashing of the lobby, and they will have just forgotten to put the car back. Uh, I'm, I wish I was better at Kyle Army because it's a really cool track that I just do not know very well, so make a lot of silly mistakes. Shadow is going for a pass for the lead. Brazen is going to soon be giving us grief. Uh, by the looks of it, uh, we will get the car slowed up here. In fact, the more you two fight, the more I can join in the battle. That's what we like to see. Hello, Brazen. Go away, Brazen. <laughs> I know you're better than me. I know you're faster. Uh, I might be able to keep you back for a while. But it is yeah, probably going to be a temporary thing. Uh, get the vehicle turned in. One of the things I have been finding, the cars... I find myself on this game a lot more kind of coasting into corners, uh, turning in off power and really kind of coasting through the middle of the corner does seem to be quite good for getting some lap speed. I'm finding it kind of work. Uh, I'm sure, you know, there are there are different and better ways of driving, but it does seem to work for me anyway, for getting some lap speed is a lot of sort of mid-corner coasting. Uh, Brazen, we're going to send you a very long way around turn one. It's difficult to go around the outside of the first corner here because it's such a okay, it's such a wide corner, but yeah, our oh, Brazen's got underneath. That's a very good pass. I have not got an answer for that. I will just have to concede. <laughs> oh, my car got all upset on the curb. Yeah, great pass from Brazen. Like, I, I was defending and I didn't quite defend heavily enough through there. Uh, Brazen snuck the car alongside good work. Now, if you can go chasing off after the top two and slow them down so I can maybe find a way past one of them and steal a podium, that would be good for me. Don't go on that curb. Kyle Army curbs are a bit mean. Uh, we've seen it before with all sorts of different people. I think we're going to get supercars around here, one of the first streams, and yeah, the curbs, as you are seeing brazen, the, the cars just like catch on the curb sometimes and get spat around something. Uh, I'd say something terrible, but you've got to be really mindful of, uh, of the problems you can find on the curbs here. Uh, we are about a second ahead of Ewan. Everyone, okay, so everyone else is, is, is sort of fallen much further back, so we shouldn't really have too much trouble from cars further back uh, in this race. We're not really, really going to be looking behind ourselves too much more looking forward. Lombo out wide. 
through there. So we've got, I mean, we've got four different cars in the top three. The only car we're missing is the Lavorg. The Lavorg's PI is a little bit low for reasons uh, that we don't really understand. Shadow lost out to Brazen from a running wide moment. I mean, the Astra is clearly a very capable car. Uh, I think maybe the focus is a little quicker than me down the straight. Possibly. It's not by a huge amount. But uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe just a little bit faster. I think I am not being... I was about to say I think I'm not being brave enough, but it turns out Shadow just overdrove the corner massively anyway. Brazen's trying to do exactly the same thing to Longbow that, uh, that he did to me, and looks like might make it work. Uh, as Longbow ended up out wide, I had a wheel on the curb, and that caused me grief. Uh, <laughs> all sorts of sideways. I'm going to have a lot of oversteer in a front-wheel drive uh, touring car here. Uh, and in most of it is to do with putting a wheel on a curb. Now, behave, Astra. No more sliding around for you, please. Did I want third? Maybe I wanted second. No, get off that bloody curb. Every, I say every time. Quite a few times now. That one there has been happening. No way to that. I feel like there's a better line through there. So I'm tending... For that section, I tend to be slow on the way in to try and focus on the exit, but I think you can be just faster in the touring car than I am anticipating, really. Uh, and the other side we go. Brazen making a little bit of a breakaway for it. Ewan, certainly not far behind. Uh, Brainless, thank you very much for the donation. I will alert to you. Thank you. I shall read that in a second. Here we are in the midst of a touring car battle. Whoa. Okay, we didn't make that one stop amazingly. Felt like I was very much risking it, but uh, we got away with that section. Uh, be aggressive over there, a bit too aggressive. Uh, so look, I want to turn in and let the understeer take it a little bit wide for that corner so you can be flat. I don't want to do what I did, which was turn in a little bit too soon and just clomp the curb. Uh, <laughs> that's not ideal. Two more laps to go. Brazen kind of pulled clear at the front. He's not under, like, immediate danger from Longbow now. Uh, we need a good lap if we are to catch back up to Shadow. Just not quite fast enough with these cars at the moment. Uh, Ewan took a very similar line to me through there. Me and Longbow done the same thing. Pretty much identical. Longbow carried a bit more speed through the corner, but ended up out wide on the exit. I was just all crossed up. Yeah. I mean, I know the dangers of the curbs. I'm just pushing the limit, and that was too far over the limit for me. God damn it, if I hadn't done that, Shadow and Longbow starting fighting is absolutely what we want to see. I mean, it was I wanted to see for a podium spot. We're not going to win. Brazen's long gone. Um, but I think we were always struggling for that sort of pace anyway. Uh, although, has Brazen, maybe Brazen's made actually a little mistake through there, because now they're all bunching up again. Right, you lot fight. I will try and bring Ewan to the party up here if I can stop making silly errors. That's not the line through there at all. Don't know what line I was going for there. Uh, we get an okay exit, but uh, that was about it. I wish I was a little bit better with these cars. Yeah, my pace in this game is very... Hit and miss. Some cars I'm very fast at. Some cars I'm very not. Uh, I do. I am very erratic at this game. In so, like in relation to like the filming crew, though I think there's an element for all of us actually of a little bit of uh, erratic pace. I think it's a while we're just still learning the game. A lot of a lot of running wide out of that final corner from the cars ahead. Okay, you lot got two laps to go. You lot really fight each other, really slow each other down, cost each other huge amounts of time to lap, and then me and Ewan can join in. Hopefully, the good, fun battle. Ewan very nearly ended up in the back of our car, through there. Uh, <laughs> they were right on the limit of uh, of the brakes on that, uh, that attempt at turn one. That time around, did not bump the curb. Was a little bit better. I uh, did slightly miss a gear, but yeah, I'm just not quite fast enough, which is a shame. I've got this corner all horribly wrong. Where are we going? That was awful. Yeah, just not 
not quite there in terms of pace. We are more, much more, should be much more concerned about Ewan uh, than the cars ahead now. Even if, I mean, they're going to have to really slow each other down for me to be able to catch. Oh, come on, Astra. Uh, Ewan's not quite close enough to have a look, I don't think, up here. May choose to send it. If you do send it at this corner, you just really struggle on the exit. So I'm not really expecting a big dive through there. We have got one more lap. Where are we weak here? Well, I'm just a bit slow everywhere. I don't know what particular corner we are weakest on at this circuit. Uh, around there we head. You and that a little bit wide. Uh, now. This corner here, I think, is flat. Yeah, that corner is flat if you get it positioned perfectly. Uh, into the final turn we go. Ewan is looking about. Ewan is very much trying to find a way past. We will have to be defending now. There is no doubt about it. Uh, will Ewan want to have a big dive at turn one? I think so. Uh, I'm going to let Ewan go past, because I think I, I was expecting Ewan to overshoot the braking zone down there. I wanted to go for the cutback, because then we could make it difficult. We are actually still going to do what I wanted to up the hill. Uh, we will fight back past again, although <laughs> we then ran too wide on the exit of the next corner. Yeah, Ewan actually did a really good job of getting that stopped. I was trying to goad Ewan into a mistake into turn one, which did not happen. Uh, after after the previous lap where Ewan had gone very deep, I thought we could trick a similar similar antics out of them, but not quite. And that has been a little bit foolish of me. Uh, now, can I get on the power nice and early up the hill? We can. Uh, we are going to have to rely on a big slipstream pull down this next corner. Ewan covers the inside. Well, kind of covers the inside. Takes a bit of a weird line through there. That is not the line that uh, they wanted through that corner particularly. Uh, but then we don't actually get a great drive on the exit either, which surprises me. I was expecting a much better run down there. Uh, Ewan will cover the inside very heavily. Good idea, because I was going to absolutely dive bomb that corner. But it's now slow on the exit of the corner. Now, this turn here is flat out when you're on your own. <laughs> that was a touring car pass and a half, if ever I saw one. Uh, it was a little bit of a... Well, I was going to let you and go, but you has decided to just follow me? <laughs> uh, well, yeah. It, it, well, we had to send it. We had to send it. It was a little bit of, uh, uh, yeah, a little bit dicey. God, I could not get speed out of that car. Uh, Nine Tails couldn't make the Lavorg work. Not a massive surprise. Um, yeah, I just couldn't match the top, the top three. <laughs> uh, I really, really struggled around there. Um, uh, but it was fun. At the end of the day, touring cars always, always good fun. The Lavorg. We are going to do a video with the BTCC cars. We're going to have to buff the Lavorg a little bit because, yeah, that's a long way off. Um, I don't know how how it's ended up like that, but there we go. Uh, uh, before I do go, brainless, thank you for the donation. Uh, saying, what's this button do? Oh, it it, it sends money to me, but uh, no, I thank you very much. It, uh, as I said, always, always very much appreciate the uh, the donations. I hope you have been enjoying the racing uh, that we have going on here. Uh, that other car guy, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, I think the problem is they started from the ground up, but the ground they used was at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. That would be a problem. That would that would absolutely be the that would be the issue. Um, yeah, it's all very well and good starting from the ground up, but if your ground is broken and glitchy and a mess, it's not all that helpful. Uh, <laughs> uh, there we go. That is going to be it. That is going to be the end of this evening's stream. I hope you've all enjoyed some racing. Didn't quite work how we wanted it to. There's been some crashing and some problems, uh, but it has been quite good fun when we got the race. As is, as is the curse and the current issues with Forza, it is great fun when it works. It just doesn't work most of the time. Had some genuinely great races, though, uh, which is always 
always what you want. I had a lot of races starting at the back of the grid, uh, which is less helpful, but uh, yeah, there we have it. Uh, that is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching. A uh, massive thank you to everybody who, who donated. As I said, it is Im immensely appreciated, especially Eddie and Alex with some very, very big donations. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, that is going to be it. That is it for this evening. I will be back on Sunday, probably with some more Forza. Not completely sure yet. Might be something different. But uh, yeah, there will there will be a stream on on Sunday of some description. Just don't know what that will be yet. However, that shall be it for 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 today. Until next time, a uh, goodbye. <laughs>